Good evening, and welcome to the Friday Night Paper Fight here on the Loading Ready Run Mega Entertainment Network. Patent pending. The, the crowd's going wild. My name is Serge. I'm joined by the wonderful Alex. Hello. And tonight we are here to battle. And a personal favorite of mine, Canadian Highlander. But first, a little bit of admin. A reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you, with your support of the Patreon, over at patreon.com slash loading, ready, run. Seriously, nothing that we do is possible without you. Thank you for your support on Twitch, on Patreon, on YouTube, with our merch over at the store. Everything, everything is you, so thank you for that. And a reminder that the Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you in part by the wonderful peeper, peeper, people over at Card Kingdom, cardkingdom.com slash LRR. That is an affiliate code. Let's them know that we sent you and the new button right now, oh my god, relatable, pack three pivot. We've all been there, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what, I was a little bit worried, it'd been a while since I'd done one of these live, that like the intro spiel wouldn't quite be as smooth as I'd done it before, but other than people, See, I think I did okay. My approach is just let someone else do it. That's fair, that's fair. I've never learned the intro. <laughs> yeah, you know, so it goes. Well, you know what you do know? Is this format? Yeah. What you got? What you bring in? Wow. What you sling in? Uh, we are, <laughs> we are going all natural with gruel roids. <laughs> I do. I need a cup of your dex piss or <laughs> you don't want it. <laughs> what are uh, your points? I uh, I don't remember. It's I think it's it's mox mox. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the list through seven, I wasn't actually paying attention. That's fine. So. <laughs> I brought I brought something that actually you've been workshopping for a little bit, because you've been trying to do, like, witch into curse for a while. It's like, so, witch house? Sure, Witch yeah. jail? Well, this is witch pox. Ooh. Who's pox? Well, witch pox? <laughs> this pox. This pox. So I got uh, blue black pox shell. I got a little, like, witch curse little gift basket, you know, you know, stop on by, <laughs> stop by the shop on the way out for your very own curse. <laughs> you, you drop this. Oh, it's my leg bone. <laughs> How did that get here? You want to fight? I do. Yeah? You won the die roll? I did. We well, let's, sevens. let's, uh, let's jam, bud. Let's mess it up. God, it's been a long time since we I fought. I know. Hit. Um. Is that one of the ones that cost you life? Yes. All right. Prismatic get... Vista. The what Montana. a start. The Montagna. So, coming from an alternate timeline. Uh huh. It's your boy Zergo Bell Striker. It's been a while since we saw this. Lad. I was worried it was going to be Goblin Guide, but yeah, that's right. also I also it's don't also like that. Good. Yeah, you're up. All right. I'm going to go a little uh, windswept teeth and pass the turn. Pass the biblioteca. Every time anybody. <laughs> <laughs> go. You were saying. <laughs> Oh no! I called it. <laughs> All right. Uh, top card is a wandering emperor. It's not a land. Wow. Uh, I, I'll take four. Good lord. Second main phase. Uh huh. Um, oops! It's all it's all pikers. All right. Uh, yeah, it's gonna resolve. Yep. I'm gonna crack. I'm gonna do a little a little shortcut here. So fetch land into an enlightened tutor. Yeah, I got, I'm hedging against um, balance here. <laughs> it's symmetrical, right? It is, in fact, symmetrical into... Ooh, I might only have 99 cards. I'm supposed to have a Sol Ring in this deck. Uh, well, first off, yeah, here's, here's the land that we're supposed to get. There is supposed to be a Sol Ring in my deck. Screw Landia. Uh, and if it isn't, this gets a little bit more awkward. Just write it on a sleeve or something. Yeah, my deck is definitely 99 right now. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I will grab this Moxin. It's fine. Game loss. It's fine. I mean, obviously we're playing very casually here, yeah, but yeah. if you went uh, and watched the uh, Canadian Highlander Championship uh, we did uh, at the beginning of this year, that's a real problem. Mm -hmm. There was uh, there was a uh, a game loss issued because of a uh, miscounted harsh. deck. All right. Okay. Isolated Chapel. Yeah. Uh, Mox Jet. What card were you playing around? Uh, balance. Stop it! 
Don't say it. It was a try. <laughs> okay, so th th this does actually wipe out all my creatures. So, man, when's the last time you saw a balance resolve? I can't believe I mind <laughs> touched. So somebody, somebody in the chat was like, uh, "Hey, is our balance and fast bond uh, banned in this format?" It's actually been a long time since I played against this card. So. Yeah, whichever player has more lands must discard enough lands to get there. We both have two. Next, equalize the cards in hand. I've got four. I have three. Okay, I have to discard a card. Yes, free my list. <laughs> got me. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this card. Okay. Uh, next. Creatures. So there we go. Get rid of the three. Fair and balanced. Yeah, yeah. It's symmetrical. It's fine. It, it balanced. It says it right in the name. That's true. Uh, say go. Well, I'm glad I kept a little bit of gas back. Oop, that's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you still have. Okay. Get out of here. Although yeah. I'm just realizing that I made a, a grave error. In so, this deck. Sorry, who was that second guy you cast? Uh, Death Rite Shamane. Shamane. Ah. Yeah, well, I'll see if I can, like. But what the heck is that? This is one of the creature lands from the DD set. The art's really cool. It's meant to look like, you know, the cover no, of the I know old what it's D &D supposed to look like. I just don't, didn't know what it was. Oh, it taps her black and it animates into a 3 3 that whenever it okay. swings, it exiles a card in the graveyard. You got it. Uh, I'm going to play Kaya. Ah, crap. Yeah, so plus one, exile two cards from a graveyard. If at least one of the cards from a graveyard is a creature, I gain two life. Mm -hmm. Minus one, exile target non-land permanent with mana or CMC one or less. So we're going to exile that. Okay. Uh, Kaya down to two. Okay. Pass. Uh, crap. It's, uh, it's Kaya's like... It's like Kaya, comma, uh, crap. <laughs> uh, I'm going to thump her. She has been thumped. Rat is Firebrand. You're so low to the ground. I actually don't know that card. It's a weird one. It's a 3-1. Whenever she attacks, target creature defending player controls with power less than her power can't block this turn. She has a domain mm -hmm. pump ability that costs 5 and a red, but it costs 1 less for each land type I have, and it gives her plus 2, plus 2. Hmm. Oops. All right, uh, basic planes. Actually, this is really cute. This you is a basic. This is a Jamie Topples alternate. Oh. Yeah. Whenever I have a chance to throw it in a deck, I do so. Uh, what am I doing with my life here? Computer. <laughs> Cards in hand. Unos. Unos. All right. Uh, Kaya is going to eat death, right? Goodbye. Uh, and then Lily is going to show up. Don't. <laughs> And uh, get you to sacrifice a creature. Okie dokie. I, there's like a different way to sequence there where maybe I play this, but I think then you just get to kill I, a Planeswalker, mm, so. No, that's, that seems correct, probably. Yeah, go. Lily and Kaya are, are house. natural enemies. Mm. Go. I will vindicate the monkey house. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not... Right, yeah, 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 yeah. I will play a Bitter Blossom, okay, uh, and then I'll ask you to discard a card in your hand, which is the Montagna. All right, uh, say go. Oh, Pox is... has assembled. We have we have assembled the Stranglehold. That's pretty pretty brutal. Let's see what we what we top deck go. Fourteen. All right. Everyone's here to have a good time. A Nether Void. Stop it. <laughs> Counter all spells unless you pay an additional three. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like discard a card. Um, mm. I'll berserk this fairy token. Yeah, it, yeah. So. Well, it gets countered and then, yeah. But yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Go. Wait, what? What? Yeah, I actually can't. Yeah. Win. I can't <laughs> win through another void. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, there's that point. There's like. So, do we sit through the next 10 turns? I definitely this? thought I got your life total lower, and I was like, maybe I can just oh. like hang on until. Yeah, yeah, dies to his own bitter yeah. blossom, whatever. But, like, Nether Void is just like, I'm not getting to play yeah. anything. Yeah. 
than this, the rest of this game. We did a warm-up game, and Alex ran over me. It was a little like, brutal. So a little, a little bit of a vindication there, but you didn't get to see that. So it just looks like, oh no, what a surge brought. Yeah, you peeled all your removal. I the sequencing I lined up really well. I cannot believe I soul read. Balance. Dude, the balance there, and I so stupid. and I'm sorry, I'm sorry about the like salty. What card did you call? Because like you'd said no, it, just, and I wish I could have flipped it at the time, right? I, I don't even have a problem. With that. You're good. You're good. You're good. But I, I thought. <laughs> uh, what a weird hand. There's something kind of sweet about casting um, balance in 2023, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's been a while. Uh, I guess I'll keep this. A little bit of vindication. You explicitly vindicated. That's fair. That's fair. It's okay, because Surge only has 99 cards. It's I've already lost. This is all... <laughs> <laughs> you know the nice thing about our hour-long format here is we can just jam games. All right, you got a seven you're happy with? Yeah. Let that, me... This seems all right. I mean, it's, it's, no. it's true. We have, like... A billion soul rings in every single. I mean, yeah, I could Commander grab Precon one we from have. one of those. Like, honestly, uh, Nelly or Wheeler, y'all around? Yeah. Can you grab a soul ring for me from a precon? Yeah. All right. All right, let's fix it quick. Alex, vamp for time. What? Vamp for time. <laughs> oh! Did you find it? Oh, I found a mana vault. <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to be soaring, though. Oh, do you just have one on you? Yeah. Sick. That's All right. Scary. What the heck is that? That's from Commander Masters. Wow, Wheeler's so good at this. Did you guys hear Beej howling with laughter? Yeah, what was that room? about? What? What's Beej laughing about? Where's your mic? Beej howled with laughter from the other room because we watched what you did, and I asked... You ever think what it'd be like if Surge was an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Wow. 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 I don't know if I'm supposed to take back all the nice things I just said no, about No, no, no. We're, we're very grateful that you're not an asshole. I like, I, I have been called the nicest person who'll ever strip lock you in a game of magic, it's right? <laughs> I don't think wow. it would be quite this sanguine about uh, a lot of other <laughs> All experiences. Right. You want to cut? That's fine. All right, going to six. We can't reach that far. All right, we'll grab the seventh card, as is my right. Uh, this goes at the bottom. Fight me! Good luck, friend. Go. Cool. We're going to go Caracas. Okay. Caracas mm -hmm. into a Mox into a pass the turn. Right in this. Uh, I'll fetch this for a bicyclette. Manger le bicyclette. He wants to ride his bicyclette. <laughs> he wants to ride his bike. You know what's really scary about this deck? What's that? No GTA. No GTA. No GTA. So I, I actually don't, I dead ass don't remember what my points are. I'm done. Draw. Okie dokie. I'm going to need to read Always this. Always wanted to play this. Dryad Sophisticate, non-basic land walk. Huh. It's a nice Caracas he got there. I'm going <laughs> to visit it. Uh, she's like, oh, oh. Only walk on fancy land. Uh, I, I don't. I don't walk on just any old land. Yep. Mox diamonds. You got it. You got a lot of cool jewelry. I don't know how this happened, but I just ripped the balance off the Come top on. again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I only have one land this time, okay. and I've got three cards in hand. I'm actually kind of okay with that. <laughs> okay. You, how many cards do you have in hand? Oh. Uh, Five. Pitch two. I got trays. I swear I didn't mold the balance. This is really tricky, actually. 
definitely going to pitch this one. I've got to pitch this one. Oh, scale up? It's tough, but... All right, you're up. Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Uh, Alex, are you... Did you take one from a fetch? Uh, I think it. There we go. Oh, life totals don't matter, Paul. <laughs> but no, that's fair. Go. Yeah. Like the last game ended, it was like 19 to 16 or something like that. What are you? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Who are Go. you? I feel like when, yeah, when the, the Curse Pox deck tells you life totals don't matter, maybe you should uh, actually pay attention to your life totals. two and three. I'm going to dome you for three, and I'm going to put this... Uh, actually, no, I'm just going to dome you. Three damage to each opponent, and what's the other one? Uh, I was going to put a land into play, but I think I'm just going to dome you. Okay. And we'll say I can't gain life or something like that, too, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're fine. Okay. I was like, oh, he's going to shatter my mox. And actually, like, this... This is pretty risky against a green-red deck. That's actually a great idea. <laughs> well, the, I get to replace that with a land, right? Mm. So, besage you. I'm assuming you're hitting my Mox Diamond? Yeah. So, basic? what does that do there? Uh, destroy a target non-basic land and opponent controls or an artifact or an enchantment. That player searches the library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield, and then shuffle. Um, yeah, all right. I don't know if this so is good. I but... want and planes. A land card with a basic land type. I guess I could get a ru ru waste. What? Maybe I don't know. You don't have. You don't play waste. But what if I did? No. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> a land with a basic land type, not a basic land. Waste have no type. Okay. Well, I'm wrong. Oh, wait, 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 like, you can get a well, duel? On a Hold if, on, time out. If you out. can get a duel, I'm definitely not doing that. Yeah, then, the, then it's just the same as my Mox Diamond. How far do we want to rewind? You can't get Waste, but you can get the Godless Shrine or a Scrub Land. What? Hold on, let me read this card. Oh, just, you wouldn't you... Yeah, with a basic land type, not a basic land. That's, that's just... That's... How far do you want to roll this back? Do you want to keep this, or do you want to keep I it going as we like did? I would definitely like to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, I'm not going to... Otherwise, it's going to like do stone nothing. Instead, I will pass the turn. It was like we all had a fever dream. A fever Bes dream where we learned how Besaju works. Yeah. Besaju okay. not as enduring as one might this think. Is a, this is actually a new acquisition. I've only cast it like once. I like how I was like, look, Alex, I can get well, a, I I can get a waste. I don't cast it at all. And chat's like, no. All right, hold up. I've never cast this card before. Kaya! Okay, okay. This is a different Kaya. This is four mana Kaya. Kaya, comma, ghost apprentice. Zero. Exile it, or up to one target creature. Return that creature to the battlefield under its owner control at the beginning of the next turn. Lose life. Minus one, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. Minus two, each opponent discards a card, and you draw a card. So it starts right. at five. What, what was that card name again? Kaya, Ghost Assassin? Oh, you said Apprentice. Oh, Ghost Apprentice? You sure did. Look, it's an A word. I kind of just assumed I knew what it was. All right, anyways, minus two, uh, you discard a card. I'd like to draw a card, please. I will discard Galvanic Blast. Okay, passe. Uh, oh, goodbye, Kaya. So the problem with this deck is it doesn't have a lot of ways to win. <laughs> Pass. Yeah. So one would think I'm in an this advantageous is, board state here. This is also a terrifying state of affairs because I have to be patient. Mm. Uh, mind Stone. Okay. Uh, pass. Otherwise known as Brain Rock. <laughs> good old, good old, dependable Brain Rock, eh? Nothing beats rock. Yeah, that's a pass. Yeah. All right, and turn crack. Let's go get one of these uh, Besaju targets, shall we? <laughs> uh, a lot of your wing conditions are enchantments, so. Yeah, enchantment or planeswalker, and you have burn spells, and yeah, whatever. We'll get there. All right, uh, Godless Shrine. Godless Shrine. Aren't we all just ghost apprentices? So <laughs> relatable. Are we like ghostly apprentices or apprentices of ghosts? Well, we're gonna die eventually and become ghosts. So we're like we're like ghosts in training, right? 
Yeah. Uh, I'm going to crack this mind stone. Yes. Win con. What you got? Muffin. Go. <laughs> I want a forest. Okay. <laughs> which I cannot see for the trees. Oh. Um, statistically speaking, uh, I can thin my deck out to. That just increases the probability of you ripping gas. Actually, 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 uh, you're good. Monkey house, stop. Yeah, that's fine. Go. All right, crack. Sir, can you put that in the? Oh, the yes. Quick get it. Get the scrub land. It's a white black <laughs> duel. <laughs> I feel like I've spent a lot of time this game just shuffling my deck. Any Welcome back to Highland. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. guess. Yeah. That means you're winning, I think. I I guess. The the one who shuffles the most wins. That's how Highlander goes. That is true, Alex. Yes. No monkey. Really? <laughs> it's the only win con on the board. <laughs> wow. Nothing else Tell does anything okay. in this game. Go. This is the like, weirdest game I've ever played. It's not just destroy the monkey house. It's vindicate. Yeah. It has to die in a Go. fiery yeah, yeah, yeah. explosion. And you have to sing it really emo. Oh, Vindicated. Vindicated. I should, probably should have kept God, it. I just ripped the wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> you got another creature land over there? Not no, yet. I no. Just, Go. The soaking zone is only good in my hand. Hey, that's a threat. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I'm just like, this is just one of those games where you're sitting there with answers, but no way to end this game, right? <gasps> A planeswalker. Hmm. Which Gwydion is that? This is Gideon of the Char of the Trials. Uh, Chat of the Trials. Uh, plus one until your next turn prevent all damage target permanent would deal. Uh, zero becomes a four four zero. You get an emblem as long as you control a Chad. You can't lose the game and your opponent can't win. Uh, I will plus one. Okay. And I will say that that permanent Whoa, okay. can deal no harm. Ridiculous. You're up. Show me a potato salad. Oh, not bad. Um... Can I see this one more time? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat of the uh, not long for the world. <laughs> Chad goes to one. I'm actually going to pass. Oh, how many Chads in my deck? Great question. Uh, let's just make sure we don't get you. Prevent all damage that would be dealt. So once Chad becomes a creature, they're immune to burn spells. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do remember that like Chad cannot be melted. <laughs> all right. Ha ha, I'm a real boy. Okay. Do they have... They do not. All right, I'm attacking you for four. This was rare Chad of the 4-4. Four, four. All right. Pass. Um, going to stomp. Target you. Target moi. Yeah, for two, yes. For two. I'm at thirteen. So he's off on an adventure. Yes. Untap. Draw. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> uh, go. Untap. Draw for the turn. I mean, 
It'd be rude not to. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> but I think I have to do it. I have to do it. I cannot imagine what it is here up Black, here. Okay. black, black. Pox. <laughs> so how does this work? So everything rounds up. Uh, each player loses one third of their life rounded up. Okay. So you're at 16. Uh, so that would be five? Help me out with the math here, chat. It's before 11. 16 rounded up is would be five, I believe. Six? Is it six? Oh my God, that's how rounding works. All right, chat. Round, rounded rounded up four people said six okay. all right lose Wait, six life is the loss rounded up or the amount they have left rounded up the all loss right. would be rounded up yeah. yeah 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 and then i'm at 13 so i would lose five or four five i'd five <laughs> all right next up uh discard one third of the cards in your hand so i have four so i have to discard two and i have two so you have to discard one this one. Again, round it up, I guess. All right, there's Besaidu. I'm going to discard Contamination okay. and Legions to Ashes. And then uh, everybody sacrifices one third of their creatures round up. So, and then. Well, hang on. Yeah, that, that's one. Yeah. And then finally, one third of the lands they control round it up. So I have five, so I have to sacrifice two. Uh, so I'm going to go down to three lands, and you have five, so you also have to get rid of two. Uh, I think the way the math works, it'd be the same. If I wastelanded you and you had four, you'd have to get rid of two. Now, ah, whatever, I don't care. Okay, so... <laughs> these Does, it doesn't hit artifacts, though. No. And planeswalkers weren't... And invented. planeswalkers <laughs> weren't around at the time, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, ha ha! Uh, hit you for four. Pass. I am experiencing stress. Why'd I get rid of untapped lands? Because it was a basic planes. I'm not going to sacrifice a duel. Or a Caracas. Large pox? Wait, there's an even bigger pox. There is no. That must be an uncard, yeah. There's no way. <laughs> oh, it's one of the playtest cards. Oh. Each player discards a card, loses life, sacks an artifact, creature, enchantment, land, planeswalker, tribal permanent, exiles a card from their graveyard, Good Lord. then puts the top card of their library into their graveyard, then removes a counter from a permanent they control, and then gets a poison counter. Oh, I love that. I it. Okay, I played a pulp collector. Yeah. Go. Untap. Uh, Untap. Sorry, can you put that on the cover? Draw for the turn. I have one more gift. Come on, man. <laughs> a big pox into a small pox. Well, I have a gift for you as well. Yeah? Oh, is that lethal? Hold on, one, two, three, that's six? I would go to one. Oh, it, it is lethal, isn't it? No, 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 because small pox is only one, one life. It's not a third a thing. It's not a third again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would take six damage off of that and one from the pox and pox puts you to four which is lethal from the planeswalker and i lose my creature yeah 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 harsh. holy harsh. <laughs> well that was a tight one that was a tight one i, I, I can't be pox can't be into small pox jokes. all right I, I told paul that the uh the life totals wouldn't matter and that bring was not true dad. bring out your dad <laughs> i had that that um Price of progress for such a long I, time. I was not even thinking of playing around price. Dude! I would have actually loved if I cast Pox, my life total got long, like low enough yeah. and you could kill me with price that. I remembered what my points are. Okay. Mox, Mox, Price. Sick. Because I forgot that the price is points. Like is, one or something like yeah, that? Yeah, still seems a little silly, but... Are you on Blood Moon? 
I'm not saying shit. I, I, wait, <laughs> am I on blood mode? Oh, we'll find out. Yeah, I will find out, man. That would wreck me one of these days. Six, seven. Yeah, I'm into this hand. Are we doing one-hour sessions or best of three? One hour. We're just going to jam until we're out of time. Onga chonga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ah. You got a good seven? I think so. Sick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little excited. Here. Beep, beep. All right. Uh, top card is a him. Dude. Ow, stop it. I don't know what is that. Okay. My deck is all gas. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, how much do I feel like dying? We like to party. We like, we, do you remember when this card was like 80 bucks? Or, I don't think it was that expensive, but it was very Okay. It went, in standard, it was worth a fortune. It was like that and the, um, what's the 1-1 one, one vampire from Innistrad? They were like besties. So I'm going to do some single things with the triggers here. So attack, Kay. attack trigger on the stack. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> hey, you're the one who let me drew it. <laughs> uh, before damage, I will path it. Okay. Um, so go get yourself a basic into play tapped. I think I'll get a forest. Uh, I'm also going to fetch this bloodstained mire just I, while I'm in my deck. Sure. I mean, who knows? Who knows what uh, things would have happened differently? But uh, somebody in chat pointed out that if you had done that Baseju, so that surge did have a duels. Oh, I could have oh, killed. The oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's like mind reading shit. <laughs> I mean, things could have played out all sorts of different ways, but... Yeah, you can't, that's like, a, that's very funny. Oh, yeah, Stromkirk funny. Nogles, what I was talking about. So when uh, Goblin God and Stromkirk were in standard together, and you're just like, oh, my God, this RDW deck is, like, $10,000-y dues. Monkey. Oh, no. Do, 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 yeah. Do, 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 go. All right, untap. Draw this pox. Uh, you have three cards in hand? Tres. God, it would take so much damage. You start exiling my junk. <laughs> Hate that for me. Uh, silent clearing. Uh, we're going to him you. Okay. So I go down to 17. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to roll a die, and you keep the card. One, two, okay. three, four, five, six. Uh, you keep that one. What do we? What do we discard? We discarded a an Atarka's command. You lucky Ooh, bastard! Ooh, and a berserk. Yeah, okay, let's. Oh, baby girl. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Cool. Go to you. <clears throat> okay. Let's... Yeah, this seems right. Um, we're going to riot this girl spellbreaker and give okay. it haste. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six? Yes. I got to 11. Um, I'll hit you and... I'll make a treasure. And then exile the top card of my library, which is a Stinkquisition. <gasps> <laughs> See how you like it. Casting it right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm going to burn this treasure. All uh, right. This, by the way, is a, a piece of um, bronze that I alloyed myself. That's sick. All right, so <laughs> cards you can't hit. So Inquisition's going into my graveyard. You cannot, esc you cannot discard the Triumph of St. Catherine. Okay. You cannot exile smokestacks. Okay. What you can hit is Pox or Talisman. Hmm, let's and think about this. And the final card in my hand is an ancient tomb. Get this Pox out of here. <laughs> okay, indescribably hype. <laughs> let's go. All right, I'm at 11. That stupid monkey. Stupid monkey has been called. If I play Smokestacks, I think I die. I don't think it's fast enough. So you're hitting me for six again next turn, and then I get to play the Triumph, and then maybe I'm not dead. So I'm gonna play this uh, Flooded Strand, and I'm going to crack it right now for a basic planes, because now that I know I have to play around Price of Progress, I'm gonna play around Price of Progress. I'll shuffle in just a second. Uh, two mana into a Talismine. Mm -hmm. Talisman of Hierarchy. Tamalazin. Tamalazin. 
and I will pass. One card in hand. Combat. Uh, so yeah, I take six again. Bonk. One, two, three, four, five, make six. I'm at four. A 10 millimeter tungsten cube. Sick. All right, give me a second here. You get to exile the top card of my deck as well. Yep. <clears throat> God, I hope it's like the abyss or something. Phew. It is a land. Oh. The Hall of Heliod's Pass, which I've heard generosity. Okay, well, I'm going to keep this. Uh... So this just stays in exile because you can only cast it yes. for a turn, right? Yeah. Um, I think I just stand on the gas pedal here. Uh, I will cast this Scargan Pit Sulk oh, God, I'm with so Bloodthirst. I'm so dead. That's fine. Go. Oh. All right. This guy, highly underrated in my opinion. Draw for the turn. All right. Well, uh, if, he's got the rip, if he's got the Bernie, then I die. So Ancient Tomb. I'm, I'm once again attacking your life total directly. I'm going to go down to two. Okay. And I'm going to play a Triumph of St. Catherine's. So it's a 5-5 five, five with lifelink. Okay. And then when it dies, it goes back into my deck and I can cast it for Got Miracle. It. But right now, it's just a 5-5 five, five with lifelink and I'm at 2. So let's see what kind of delta we can come up with. Go. Yep. Yeah, just attack with just everything. swing with everything. Oh! Can I, just for a second? <laughs> I just die to this. Because it's got, like, it's got unblockable, doesn't it? No, 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 no. I was thinking Could of the other the power one. power less. Sorry. Yeah, okay, okay. All right. I block the one with trample. Trampoline. Okay, so the delta here is... So I would go to seven, and then I would take one, two, three, four, five. So I would stay at two, and I would kill your creature, unless okay. you have a trick or anything else. Uh, I don't have a trick, but okay. I'm going to exile the top card of your library. You can get a second treasure token. Yep. Yeah. I'll put this there. Oh, that's dead. That's dead. Oh, no. It's so good he's gone French. <laughs> I'll make white white. Hey, Chad. <laughs> I'm going to throw this over there. My Chad now. Uh, what's Chad doing? Um, Tell me about Chad. This is not going to deal damage for a turn. Um, but, I, but I need that for life. That is such a shame. <laughs> I, I hate that for you, bestie. Uh, oh. hey, like, hey, hey, Gideon, where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, I don't know. This monkey told me to come over here. <laughs> this <is a> monkey. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, well, you make a compelling argument. <laughs> Go. <laughs> All right, deck. This is so stupid. I think I'm dead if it's not exactly balance. Oh. Almost. Oh, that answers Krakus. Well, it answers monkey. That's what I meant. Sorry. Krakus answers monkey. <laughs> uh, all right, hold on. That blocks one. That blocks one. Oh, this can also attack. The other card I have in hand mm -hmm. is Soren. And I have to cast this in such a way as I don't die. Um, I go to one. <laughs> okay. I go to one, and I make a one-one life link vampire. Okay. No, I'm still dead. Yeah, you're super dead. Dang. Well, not super dead. Super you're, dead. You're like Mondo dead. Like I, I can nullify this, but even then. Um, I think because I have, I the have three. Uh, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I, I, I'm like I'm bagging this land. Okay. I can activate domain on Rada's fire right, land, right. and then I, you can't block. GG. Thanks, Chad. All right. I think we got we got time for another one. Yeah, let's do one more. Yeah, you came out swinging. <laughs> Turns out when I don't turn to balance, it's. Uh... <laughs> It's a little bit trickier for me to stabilize there. That monkey's really dumb. Dude! The stupid steampunk monkey strikes again. The stunky. The stunky. Unky. Unky. I don't know if I... I haven't had a single curse show up yet. Yeah, that's kind of a drag. I'm supposed to be a curse pox deck. I hate that for you, bestie. Well, hate you got the pox that. going on. I definitely have the pox going on. That's true. I'm sad that you don't have the Jeannie and Johnson pox. Which one's that? Uh, it's the original, like, uh, time spiral? Wait, 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 wait. So my art from original um, uh, Ice Age 
isn't OG enough? No, 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 not, not pox for uh, smallpox. Oh, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. But my 12th edition smallpox is foil. It's mid. <laughs> that, okay. was, that was for the pox. That's fair, that's um, fair. You, like, you, 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 you're allowed to be as mean to pox as possible, it deserves it. Like I'll put some shade on here. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're good on your side. Okay, I'll take the three. play. Okay, six. Seven. I don't think I like that. It's too many lands. Yeah, Janine Johnson is you local, actually. Yeah. I will cast. I will keep this hand. Yeah. Mulligans everywhere. <laughs> you good. So are you saying the artist is local? Yes. Wait, this is only six cards. I get a seventh card? <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna bury one. I think. Yes, okay. All right, I start. Yep. If you control two or more, it enters tap. This is my only land, if therefore it is untapped. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you said you pitched one, how about you pitch a second? Show me your secrets. Oh, that, this makes me a sad panda. That's <laughs> man. Wow, it was going to be so big. <clears throat> All right, I'm at 18 pass. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> Give me a broom and a. Like a pointy hat yeah. and a black cat. Hey, you love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> so right. stupid. Yeah. Go. Uh, concealed courtyard. Yep. Pass. <laughs> so freaking dumb. Um, Swifty. Oh, no. Uh, All right. Trigger. Vroosh. Ooh. Oh. Are you ready to have some burdens? Uh, I will fatal push the goblin guide. Bye bye. Uh, any effects before damage? Negatory. I will take one and go to 15. Yeah. Cool. Untap. The one ring has entered my hand. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, polluted Delta Sigil. Okay. A singular circle. It's true. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. Combat. Yeah. Uh, four damage. Try to make this thing huge. Uh, it doesn't show up to its job request. Uh, so I get a clue? Yeah, I have one right here for you. And it's destroy or? Yeah, destroy target okay. creature or it. planeswalker. It's okay. controller investigates. Go. Cool. Um, I'm going to crack this. I'm going to shortcut again. Uh, uh. Me, 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 me. Uh, Paul, could you grab a Sol Ring, specifically the printing from uh, the Masters that we just talked about, Commander Masters? This one? No, that's the. No, that's the, that's the, that's the one I normally have. Uh, Commander Masters. This one, if that helps. We all know what it does. It's a Sol Ring. Fair and balanced. Not one of my serialized Lord of the Rings Sol Rings. I sold that. When I was in Barcelona, I was like, I cracked a pack and I was like, I don't know what this card is. It's an Elvish. <laughs> and I had opened one of the Lord of the Rings serialized ones that was worth, uh, I think I sold it for like 140 euros. Basically, basically paid for like almost all of my meals and coffee for the convention. Nice. So uh, Tudor puts the ring on top. There we go. Untap. Draw. I'm a soul ring. I'm a soul ring. Is uh, is the one ring your only uh, Lord of the Rings card that you're playing? 
I couldn't tell you that off the top of my head. Uh, chances are you're probably correct, though. All right, uh, God of the Shrine yes. tapped. Um, we're going to cast said Sol Ring. Okay. Uh, and then four mana, we're going to cast Sol Ring. Sol Ring, and to see what I did there? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then Soren is going to plus one and make me a vampire. Ta -ta. <laughs> ah! I mean, don't, this one doesn't <laughs> fly. But. Ah. Yeah, no Pole Master in this deck, which maybe could. I don't know. Go. <clears throat> untap, 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 draw. Untap, untap, untap. Four mana? That's fine. Uh, four mana, this becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack you. Uh, when I do, I get to exile target card from a defending player's graveyard. I'm going to hit your uh, goblin guide. Gosh darn it. 3-3 uh, three, three coming at you. Uh, no blocks. All right, go to 17. I'm attacking your life points directly. Uh, I'm going to make an second vampire. Uh, I might only have had the one. Correct. There are now two vampires. <clears throat> Here you go. Do you have a land in this? I do have a polluted delta. Okay, uh, I'm gonna exile the delta. Yep. Make a red. Can I cast this Alelia? Ooh. Um, I'm going to attack your life points and exile this card, which I can play this turn. And then whenever you exile a card, you put a plus one plus one counter on it? Yes. Okay, I, that is too big. I'm going to path it. Okay, so I get a land? Yes, turn it into a land card, please. <clears throat> we get La Montaigne. And then it's back to you. Antipity. Today is going to be the day when I'm going to throw it back uh, to you. Oh. Fabled Passage. Uh, sacrifice it, search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, then... Untap it if you control four or more lands. This will be my fifth land. So let's go get ourselves a basic planes. <clears throat> the word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out. Did you know that? Uh, I heard rumors. Mm -hmm. Interesting cutting? No, it's fine. Minimal. All right, emblem. Oh. My board gets plus one, plus one. Is it plus one, plus one, or plus one, plus one? Plus one, plus zero, pardon me. Uh, one, two, three, four, eight. Ow. Four of which is lifelink. All right, so I go up to 18. Uh, Passe la Biblio. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Power Dragon? Thank you so much for stopping on by, friend. Hope you had a cozy stream. We're playing some powerful magic. Appreciate you stopping on by. I'm gonna kill Soren. Yeah, that's fair. So I don't get a second emblem. <laughs> <clears throat> so this represents an emblem. I need you all to remember that. That is Firebrand. That's the three one that we keep seeing. Yeah, go. Cool. Yeah. All right, untap, 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 draw. All right, I'm going to cast something that I've never tried casting before, so be kind. I'm very afraid. Uh, it's the One Ring. Mm. And a lot of people know what this card does. I'm not one of those people. Uh, it draws you cards and you pay for it. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, you gain protection from everything until your next turn. <laughs> Until your next turn? Sick. Ouch. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life for each bird encounter on it. Tap, put a, a bird encounter on the ring, then draw a card for each bird encounter on it. All right, I have protection from everything. I have protection from everything. You suck. Shing! Whoa. 
until my next turn. So that means I have a free attack here with these two ones, which is kind of cool. And if Wait, I it, hang on, is is it you? It's it's you, but not permanence you control. You need to cast it. I did cast it. Yeah. You paid retail. Yeah. I don't understand what people are saying. <laughs> It's like when you pay mana yeah. for a spell and put it onto the battlefield, you cast it. Yeah. So it's just you, not your creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can attack for free because it's until my next turn, so I get nothing from the crackback. I attack for four. I go up to 22. Uh, I will tap and put a burden counter on the one ring, and I will draw one card. That feels good. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Babies everywhere. Cool. Pass. <clears throat> How does this not tempt you? That's a good question. Burning Tree Emissary. Oh, beep, beep. Uh, yeah, sick. Have a land. Hmm. I'm going to pass. All right, untap, 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 untap. Ow, I lose one life at my upkeep because of, I have a number of burning counters on it. I will now draw for the turn. I will now tap this and draw two. That feels good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's, how, that's how they get you. You know? Uh, let's play this Prismatic Vista. <clears throat> I intend to fight you with these two ones with lifelink. Do you have a creature in your bin? Do I have a creature in my bin? Yep. I do not. That sucks. You have two creatures in your bin. Yeah. But you need those to be gigantic. A big, big love. I'm gonna block one. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna block one of them with death right. Okay, and then any effecties before damage? Nope. <clears throat> All right, one of these dies. You go to three, I go to 25. Uh, second main. Uh, talisman. Okay. How many cards do you have in hand? I have three cards in okay. hand. Um, like a million, <clears throat> my dude. <laughs> Say go. Let's make our big move and see how hard you sandbagged your um, stuff. Uh, I am attacking you. No blocks. I have some effects before damage. I imagine you do. <laughs> Become immense, target, gratis firebrand. I have a response. Okay. Uh, one, two, so three, four, five. I would like to flash in solitude before it becomes immense. So I'm going to gain life for that. You're going to gain life equal to its power before that resolves. Oh, that's such a drag. <clears throat> um, yes, I will gain three life. Okay, so you will go to six. All right, so this is going to fizzle. Yeah. Uh, we are still in no blocks, but before damage. If you have anything else you want to do. Nope. Okay, I'll take two and go to 23. Okay. <clears throat> I'll play an Ascendant Pack later. Yeah. Go. 
All right, uh, end step. I'm going to prismatic vista out, uh, get myself an basic, <clears throat> whichever I find first. Planes it is. Oh, right, I'm supposed to. I've exiled everything, yeah. Would you like to cut? That's fine. All right, untap, 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 untap. Upkeep, uh, take two, draw for the turn, uh, draw for the ring, so I'll draw three. Mm -hmm. Play an Mox Pearl. Mm -hmm. um, four mana. Uh, animate the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, and mm -hmm. I'd like to declare attacks, and then exile the last card in your graveyard. Um, I'll block Solitude. So that's... Um, that's exactly six on that side, too, because I still have the plus one, plus right, one, and one. Right, yeah, right, right. So one, two, three, okay, four, five, six. Okay, you know what six. makes me really sour about this? Yeah, what's up? Oh, I knew, I figured, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew you were going for the wombo there, combo. There was, <clears throat> I think there was almost a point where I could have, like, lethal yeah, you, but yeah. I think you just drew too much, yeah. too much gas. My guy. So, um, this deck should not have death right in it. Oh, interesting. Because... I have zero black sources. Sure, yeah. And it's like it's one of those cards that like you always are just like, oh yeah, you put it in every deck. Sure. It's, like, it's actually bad in this deck. I think. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna if you're not gonna splash the extra land or whatever, yep. it's not a bunch. Those are fun games. I'm surprised this deck did as well as it did because <laughs> again, like we played a test match and I got run over and I was like, this is gonna be an hour of me getting run over. Well, I mean, like I was hoping to hang on because like you're still dead to price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either that or it's just like I get Sulfuric Vortex or something yeah. stupid. Yeah, of course. I don't no. think I live through Sulfuric Vortex, but... Uh, In that particular board is state? Death yeah. Cloud? That's, that is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's going to do it for round one. We're going to take a short break, but don't go away. After this, we got more Canadian Highlander, so stick around. Welcome back to... It's not as a sir card. <laughs> Friday Night Almost. Paper Fight over here at twitch.tv slash loading ready run Mimi Wheeler. I've got a Nelly across the table. We're about to play some more Canadian Highlander. That's it. Yes, let's. Okay. I won the die roll. Unfortunately. I'd like to go first. What are you playing? Um, is this your mono green hoof? No. I don't play white. I got an ignoble hierarch. Okay. Back to you, friend. Uh, I got a bit of an explanation as to what I'm playing. Yeah, what are you playing? Uh, I'm playing a deck that is called uh, Jacuzzi on Commission. Oh. It's a uh, old grimy brew uh, put together by myself and Adam Price, former Canadian Highlander counselor. I remember. Um, it's a fast bond tin fins gravestorm reanimator lands deck. Oh boy. It's a mess. Okay. Uh, I will try to keep up. Tell me about the name. It's well, what's the greasiest thing you can imagine? <laughs> like a jacuzzi that moves around. Somebody's selling a jacuzzi on commission. On commission. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, I'm gonna thought seize you. Great. I've still got two lands. Bellower, devoted druid, court of calling. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna take that devoted druid. You got it. Go. You're at eighteen. Yeah. Play this misty. Boosh. Oh, Back 17. to you. I'm gonna fetch. Sweet. Uh, get myself a trop, and I'm gonna cast ponder. Oh, Elf Lawyer also wants to know who Shinfins is. Yeah, it's from C Lab. Tin fins? Tin fins. Tin fins is from C Lab 2021. There's a there's a Grizzleby character, right? Grizzlebees. I've never seen this. Tin fins. So tin in the show. But I know it that, was yeah. yeah. Tin fins was supposed to be a movie about what if we put a uh, <laughs> what if we put a shark's brain in a robot body? Right. Uh, and it made tin fins, and throughout the entirety of this, like 
movie that was being pitched through like an Entertainment Tonight esque shows and commercials. Right. There are these adverts for a chain called Grizzlebees. <laughs> You'll wish you had less fun. Uh, and so Grizzlebees is Grizzle Brand. Yes. You know, just really straightforward. Just the most absolutely, you know, linear, shortest route possible from one thought to the next magic card deck name. Yeah. Like all of them, right? Just like Dirty Kitty. We don't need to talk about Dirty Kitty. I'm going to shuffle. Okay. Dirty Kitty. Yeah, me too. Okay. Did he, Dirty Kitty isn't as horny as it sounds. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I mean, let's get that out That's of there. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I didn't, yeah. My brain didn't even go there, but I guess Dirty Kitty. In today's internet, never would have happened. <laughs> no. We wouldn't have called it. Yeah. No. Dirty Kitty is a deck from like 2006 or something like that. Maybe 2010. Uh, 2000 and Mog War Marshal mm. Fecundity, right? Yeah, and it was in Legacy. Yeah. But, like, what was the new card that allowed it? I think, actually, it wasn't even I think any War, new cards. I think War Marshal was just... War Marshal and Grape Shot were two of the ways that you could kill. Yeah. I... I just... The, the idea that that the, the internet was, like, a, a beautiful, wholesome Go. place in 2010... Maybe it was extended. Uh, I think is you're, you're, I think you might be overselling that a little bit. Are you sure? You're, oh, yeah, Empty. Empty was big. You're right, and when you're right, you're right. Uh, Savannah. Cast Wild Growth, targeting this basic forest. Yeah. Okay. Um, no. Hit you for one. Go ahead. Oh. 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 Um... So I could get back that. Got a thought yeah. seize ponder in the land here. You got a chord of calling. I have a chord of calling in my hand that you know about, and a woodland bellower that you know, bellower that you know about. And I have one secret card. I'm gonna brainstorm. Very good. Gedonkin Wheeler Bell. Gazunta. Mm-hmm. Wheeler Bell? I think that's what it says. You know, there's one of those letters that I'm not sure how to say it because it's, like, not used in English. Yeah. I just assume you say Wheeler when you see that letter. Sorry, this is tough. Yeah, take your time. Mm. Putting these two back... Okay. Um, I'm going to play Lanowar Wastes and Excellent. pass. I'm going to untap. Yeah. Play this Arid Mesa. Lose a life. Is this chill? Yeah. I think I have to find Taiga. Oh no, I have options. But I will find Taga. I'll shuffle. Uh, six for Woodland Beller. Yeah. Okay. I'll find a three. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of just want to get some value. Yeah, you. Get over here. You. You. Go. That's one. Uh, no matter what I draw, I'm going to be done. I'll Go ahead. That one. One. Now, Wheeler, is there a non on commission version of this deck? Like a just a jacuzzi? Is there a jacuzzi? Well, uh, if you take away one of the elements so it's slightly less greasy, then it could be not on commission, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if we were doing one less plan, because currently we have like four or something. This is definitely in the. For this. Uh, yeah. This yeah. is definitely in the garbage platter family. Yeah. Garbage platter pre precursor, right? Yeah. Because if you were brewing a deck with Adam, uh, it was more than five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just, just so I'm clear, the greasiness of a deck is how many different wind conditions you have? Uh, I mean, that's part of it, but it's, it's also it. just like... It's hard to explain. 
I, I'm in, you you go me, in the tank. I'll tell you after okay. I'm done. Well, I'll yeah. do my best okay. to set you okay. up here. When Paul, I'm out of the tank. Audience. Yeah, Wheeler's you know. going to go in the tank, all right, and all right. I'll explain greasiness in Highlander deck it's construction like, as, as I understand it. Yeah. Allow me to explain That's right. greasiness. Yeah, I feel like I have an important, you know... Uh, background and <laughs> willingness to weigh in here um so if you're in a position where your deck is supposed to do thing a like let's say it's burn them out with a fireball but you've built your deck in such a way that it could also do thing b which is like make an attack with legion loyalist and like mm. two other bad creatures making their tokens not be able to block which is like all of their creatures because they're a token deck. And then you like randomly get in with a bunch of cheap creatures for way too much damage. That's greasy. Cause your opponent is like, you're like selling to your opponent. Like you're trying to give them this pitch of just like, this is how I'm going to kill you. You've seen me play this deck before. It usually wins mm -hmm. with a big fireball. And then kind of out of like left field, you do this battalion attack. I'm going to play a pain land. And I'm going to add white, green, blue, and one. And I'm going to cast Wargate for one. Love that for you, Bestie. I'm going to find Fast Bond. Okay. Ooh. So, so a greasy deck is one that has alternate, it has some other car, extra cards in it. Uh, great. There's no like, def, there's no definition for what is and isn't greasy. Greasy is about vibe. You know? Well, I, I just think it's like it's like cards that shouldn't be in the deck, and <laughs> and yet you still win with them. Paul, <laughs> what? Why am I catching straight? It's from about management? vibes, dude. It's all about vibes. Something could be something could look greasy to an untrained eye, but it's not greasy. <laughs> you gotta ask right? him. Ask him again after he combos me out here. All right. All right You'll yeah. know why this is yeah, yeah, greasy. Yeah. Just keep works. watching this face, and once it starts like drooping like this, like, oh. then you'll know that the grease has entered the chat. Oh! Oh! Right. Oh! Hello! hello. Oh. It's just it's one of those know it when you see it kind of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I make this sound again, that's a grease alert. Uh, Zernor. No. There we go. There was one right there. Uh, I'm going to play Glacial Chasm. Oh. Uh, I have to get rid of this Land of War Wastes. Okay. And I'm going to play Strip. Excellent. Oh, rem wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so this turn was full of them. Uh, this, this time, Grease was just like, oh, you had all those cards except for Fast Bond, huh? I think I'm passing. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. I'm putting you on five. Like if you're if you have a strip mine, you want to activate oh, you it have on your turn, cord. don't you? I do. I have cord, have so cord. I have like a I have a one, way two, to three, dump mana. I mean, you can rex sage one of these either way. Um, I think this is fine. I'm gonna pass. Untap. Yep. I haven't played this deck in a hot minute, so I think I screwed up my cantrips here. I think you should have been dead. I have a Thespian so, Sage. Oh, well, that's pretty good. It feels like I was... I thought maybe you were going to yeah. kill me last turn. Or lock me out. Okay, sorry, so. sorry if I distracted you with the... No, you're good. You're discussion. good. Blame Paul, quick! I, I, Now's your chance! I don't know. Okay, okay. He was asking genuine grease-related questions. That's true. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, okay, so remind me, it's... My creatures just can't attack, or uh, prevent sorry. all damage. Prevent all damage would they would dealt to me. You can't attack. attack. You can't attack, and all damage will be yeah. zero. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, okay, I I have a Kogla and Yadaro oh. off the top here. Okay. So don't even need to go find the Rex Sage, because oh no, I have to discard it if yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you pitch it. No, oh, yeah, I should do that Channel instead. Do That's it. better. Sorry, this one's not an ETB. Bear with me, Chad. I'm old and dumb. Right. Of all the magical protection spells in, in the game of Magic, I love that just a big chasm is the thing that stops all damage. Yeah, it's a pretty good chasm. Um, okay, so I'd like to discard Kogla and Yadaro. That's a hell of a chasm. Hell of a chasm you got there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I will try to destroy an artifact or enchantment. Yeah. I'll choose Fast Bond. Okay. And then I will f shuffle this into my library and then draw a card. These new cards. Yeah. That's annoying. Why do I have to shuffle first, then draw? What are they like? We want you to be able to live the dream of drawing the monkey dinosaur duo forever? Come on. Sure, dude. <laughs> Whatever. Just let me draw the cards so I can shuffle on my opponent's turn. 
All right. I don't think I have a way to deal with a land in the deck for two creature mana. I'm just going to cast this other thing instead. Okay, drawing card. Oh, that's actually really good. No. Oh. No. 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 Don't say that. <laughs> Circle of Dreams, Druid. Yeah. Pass. Uh, I am going to pay the two life and put an age counter on my Glacial Chasm. Cumulative upkeep. Draw. That's kind of hot. Uh, I'm going to crack this Nurturing Peatland. Good. Let's draw a card. It's neat how the lands decks often operate on very little mana. Because you like think of it as a deck that has lots of mana because it's playing so many lands. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play a Verdant Catacombs as my land for the turn, and I'm going to pass. Untap. Yeah. Copy strip mine. I'm going to respond. Okay. I'm going to sacrifice strip to gain two life. That's being stage will not become a copy of target land and gain the and gain this ability. It'll just stay that's being stage. Arbor elf. Yeah. People in the audience. Dude, strip mine. No. Oh, Sylvan library. Not going to do strip mine. Go ahead. Come on. Uh, I'm going to upkeep. I'm going to put a counter on this and lose four. You have one card in hand. Yeah. And I know what it you is. You know what it is. Um, I'm going to play a Temple Garden tapped. No. 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 Oh, this is bad. If I do that, you counter that. Quarter calling, huh? Maybe I should have thought to use that quarter calling. Um. What a shock. Okay. And then I'm going to pass. Make five. Yep. Plus four is nine. Mm -hmm. Cord for six? Yep. I think I'm just on Titan for Wasteland here. A gentleman's play. <laughs> I was, I was so telling much. Nelson this earlier today during some secret filming uh, about how sometimes during the middle, like if I have a deck idea in a dream and I wake up, I'll try to like write it in my phone. Um, Which I really appreciate. It's like the thing authors Smart. do, except yeah. it's infinitely less cool. <laughs> uh, and I, <laughs> I woke up in the middle of last night and I wrote, I ended up, like rewriting it so that it was properly spelled. Oh, okay. But I wrote Jund Land Reanimator Tin Fin Primeval Titan. <laughs> so I like where your head's at. Thank you. Yeah. Two primeval decks sparring off. Yeah, I actually recently had I'm not going to tell everyone what the dream content was, but I had a like vision of uh, an idea for work, mm -hmm. so I can't talk about that. But I didn't write it down. Oh. And then the next morning was like a like Saturday morning meeting, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was going to say something here, but I've completely forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered later, and I did write it down. Okay, we're Sylvan Library yep. step. Holy shit. Um, no swearing, no swearing. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's like that sometimes. All right, all right. Does this work? 
the full Sylvan Library key. Gain two life. I'm gonna gain two life. Red. Some other mana. This one? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll make a Hamtaro. Kush, kush, tiki, tiki, woo. Yeah. You mean a buh? A buh token. I think I still don't have an actual buh token. A buh. A buh. I got a boo token if you want. I would love one. How do you not have a Hamtaro token? I asked you for one one time and you didn't have enough to go around or something. That fine. can't be true. <laughs> <I'm> so <laughs> Well, like on you or whatever. Yeah. Go to combat. Uh, with these ones. Yeah. Uh, trigger. Yeah. That one. Ooh. This one. Uh, I'll put 10 ice counters down. Before damage, yeah. I'm going to fetch. Okay. I'm going to grab a Savannah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to float. I'm going to white, white, black. And then float one. And I'm going to sacrifice all of my lands to Zurin Orb. Okay. So I gain eight, go up to 17. And I have four mana. Am I getting lead. four basics? No, you're getting oh. second sunrise. Okay. Uh, I might respond. Sure. So you're going to get those four lands back, basically? Uh, Is that right? Or. Oh, well, you get your do? wasteland back too. Each player returns play all artifact, creature, enchantment, and land this cards are fine. put into their graveyard this turn. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's fine then. I'll let that resolve. So you get back wasteland. Okay, great. Uh, I get back these. Right. Uh, I've got a triggered ability from this glacial, or I got a replacement effect from this temple garden. Triggered ability from this glacial chasm. Um, Actually, I think with your triggered ability on the stack, I'd like to respond. Sure. I want to Boseju you your Zero Orb. Oh, wait, it's probably only one mana, because this is legendary. Uh, yes. So how much are you actually hitting me for? 6, 12, like, 14, 18? Mm, no, this is only a 1-1. One, one. I didn't pump it. Oh, you haven't booed? I, didn't, I haven't have... booed. I saved for the minus 2 oh, for post-combat. Yeah. Right, uh, so it's only 12, 15. It's 15. 15. Yeah, and you're at 17 right now from all your zero orbing? 17. Uh, okay. So you're only a little dead right now. <laughs> yeah, like, su supposing I throw this Primeval Titan at you because that's trampled, right? So I have to get up to 21. Yeah, basically. or 22, yeah, unless I've got um, tricks or shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, i got to get up to 22. So i got to sack three lands. Um, or I guess I sack... Yeah, because you do that anyways. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, I'll sack these three. Okay. Go up to uh, 23. Okay, and then you can get a, go get a basic land. And I get a basic land. Doesn't the Glacial Does Chasm protect you from the... Attack? Well, I'm going to blow it up because I have oh, the right. Wasteland again. Like, right. because the Second Sunrise brought my Wasteland back as well. Before combat damage, I would have destroyed it. But yes, Paul. And there's just very awkward timing for, like, when I can do a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, because I can't leave the Glacial Chasm... Uh, around uh, because Nelson's just going to wasteland it. Like, Nelson's going to resolve the Beseju and then wasteland me. Um, actually, do I want a B6 one? I don't want a B6 one. I want a Triome. Or I want a Watery Grave. I'll take a Watery Grave. Uh, yeah, would you like to deal 15 damage to me? 15. Great. I take 15. Great. I go to 8. Post combat. I also have Xenagos. Oh. Uh, that I think I should just tick up for mana so that it has more loyalty on it. And then, yeah, classic, everyone's favorite, the smartest, most clever play in all of Magic, post combat. Three counters on yeah. Buh, go ahead. Yeah, you know it, you love it. You understand why I did it. Okie dokie. This is a bit of a 
difficult. Oh no. Uh, getting that back doesn't work. I've had this crucible in oh. my hand and this Sabine. But I couldn't, because he had the cord, I can't go for a loop because you could cord for Scooz or Endurance. Right. Um, and yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, game two, game two. I think I Plus could have one. killed you if I pondered. Uh, I actually uh, brainstormed away that Savines. Okay. Uh, and in my head, I'm like, I'm going to put the Savines here, and then I'll be able to draw it after I Wargate. But that's not how Wargate works. Right. Wargate. Yeah. Wargate shuffles your library. Yeah. Ponder and Brainstorm are skill testing cards, for sure. Yeah, they're tough. I've made many a similar mistake, or worse. Hey, yep. that's okay. At least you didn't make the mistake where you cast a brainstorm and then looked at the top three cards of your library, rearranged them, drew one, and <laughs> oh, <laughs> then put the other two back. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I guess that one's okay. What's the really egregious one? It's when like, you put them on the bottom? Yeah. Pre bra brainstorm is preordained. It's the really bad one. <laughs> or ponder is preordained. Or when you brainstorm and then you shuffle. Put them back and shuffle. Has right. Done that? I guess it's, sorry, it's ponder as brainstorm. That's the one that's the, the big problem, yeah. right? Yeah. That was, a, that was a super cool, um, mat, very interesting timing in that match where it was like, yes. when do you, it's like, there's there's like a couple different things going on and it's like, when do you put the thing on the stack? Yeah. Yeah. Second Sunrise, uh, we're used to seeing some <laughs> like interesting, explosive, late game, combo activating plays, mm -hmm. but sometimes the opponent has some way to play against it specifically. Yeah. Kind of a drag there. The Stupid cord, wasteland. That thought sees too, like taking the Devoted Druid slows you down. It leaves mm -hmm. you with the cord. But yeah, it like, did slow me down. The Bellower is also bad because the Bellower lets you get out the Rex Sage. Like right. if I try to take a slower approach and develop one of my permanents. Ooh. Uh, I'm on the draw? <laughs> You're playing first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go to six. need some cheaper cards. I had a Dryad Arbor and a Gaia's Cradle, and I'm like, these Ooh. are not safe cards yeah. to pin my hopes on against this deck. It's a play to not sack the Chasm, so he has to use the Wasteland so he can bring back Chasm without Wasteland. Huh? Does that make my deck soapy since it beat the grease? Jove 11, I like where your head's at. This is how we name decks. It's, you got to get as obscure as possible. Soapy hoof has to be like bant hoof or right. something. Right, yeah. Squeaky clean. <laughs> I like the idea of the uh, opposition hoof being renamed soapy hoof. That's not bad. Foam bubbles. Splish black. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Sixes all Sixes, let's do it. I'm keeping. Oh, yep. I've already kept. Sorry, I get to look at one more and then put it on the bottom. Ooh, upgrades. Uh, yeah. Which one of you two is going? Can you close your... Uh, uh, well, I'm going to ask you to close your... Actually, Paul, can we go to the other shot? Yeah, I'll just look over here. <laughs> it's fine. You want to show the, show the team? Let me know when I'm back. You just need to look at the uh, mm. Oracle text on this <laughs> specific card. No, wait, oh, wait, wait, okay, wait, okay, wait. okay, okay. I didn't see it. Um... Okay, uh, it's longer than we can put it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't okay. fit. We, we're good. Hilarious. Thank You're you. You're good? Have you chosen a card to go back? I'm uh, still working no. on it. <sighs> Am I doing this? I probably should keep, keep the option up. Sure, I'll bottom this one. I'm not positive that's right. It feels a little greedy, but... You we want, didn't. You we want didn't to talk greedy. Yeah, we didn't start playing Canadian Highlander to not be greedy. I'm gonna bottom this card, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay. Um, do I start? With, I think I start. I'm gonna play Godless Shrine and Shock. Okay. I'm gonna play an LED. Okay. Uh, I'm going to crack it for three blue, discarding cards, including this Echo of Eons. Oh, okay. uh, It's being altered yep. by Jerry Thompson. Fair enough. Good uh, I'm going to flashback this Echo I of Eons. I understand. Okay. So don't don't I get to see the rest of your hand? Oh, yeah, sure. It's yeah, an yeah. Urza Saga, a okay, Corvold, okay. and a Dance of the Dead. Oh, right. Oh, you're time twistering me as, as hand attack. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Okay, so we time twister, right? Yeah, we twister. Sweet. Incredible. This is a super rare play. Um, but currently Wheeler is up by one land and 
whatever the like mathematical average is of a seven between our two decks, which might actually put him in the negative. I don't know. Like it's it's. Interesting. Hoof has some pretty good like random sevens just because you have the mana dorks, but yeah. you can also get burned by hand with big things. Every deck, every deck can every just deck get completely can. killed by this play. Yeah. Like every yeah. deck can just immediately lose because we are just shuffling. Right? If I'm playing a turn in with eggs yeah. and I twist or somebody on one, I count that as a turn one. Cool. You know? Yeah, like, I think with eggs, uh, yeah, it's a very exciting play. I'm trying to think how many other decks can even do it. I would maybe do it with um, the thing is with Paradox Academy, if you turn one do this play you probably have like a ring or a mox or something yeah. like you've got more mana than just a land all right good luck good luck <laughs> good luck <laughs> it's kind of a funny one all right i'm up a card oh i hit a cycling land sweet oh yeah I'm going to play a Mox Diamond. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to play a Glacial Chasm. Okay, sweet. Uh, Adam, are you watching this? And then <laughs> I am going to pass. Okay. I have Forest Utopia Sprawl. Okay. I'm going to name Green. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, wait, am I allowed to name Green? That's allowed, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Choose a color. Good, good. Going to float a white, and I'm going to crop rotation away this for a strip and strip <laughs> your forest. Okay, you got a white mana. You doing? I got a white. Or? Uh, no, but I will be playing a land. Okay, that's uh, chill. So I'm going to strip, okay. strip you, uh, and then I'm going to play this windswept teeth and pass. Let's hope that seven's good. I mean, I'm, I'm still in it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play a windswept teeth. Go ahead. Guess okay. I should have led with this. Mm. Oh, nah, shit. this was right. I have no yeah, regrets. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have a clue that you had this to remind. Uh, so. Two wizards are just standing by themselves on a windswept teeth. <laughs> yeah. Like. Are you happy now? <laughs> yeah. Dude, this sucks. Yeah. I'm going to play a fetch. I'm going to double fetch. I'm going to cast a crucible and pass. Sure. Uh, I'm going to grab a bayou and a... Or a savannah and an underground sea. That's okay. I'm going to go. I have another Aired Mesa. Well, another fetch line, I should say. And I'll say go. This is a part of the grease. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, this is, yeah. <laughs> time twister turn one into trying to set up a strip wall. Yeah, into the landlock. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. pretty fantastic. It's kind of kind of grimy. Yeah, a little bit grimy. <laughs> you think this is slick back? This is pushed back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did I tell you guys? No sloppy stakes. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Yeah, play it. You're strip, good. it'll pass. Okay. Uh, I'm out of fetch lands. Okay. I will play the forest yep. and I'll cast Derogatory Speaker. Sure. Um, am I supposed to wait? It's like if I wait, I get so this is down. The next turn, I have two, three mana. Or if, or if you get me, it's like if you have one more way to get a land back out of your graveyard, it's pretty awkward. Yeah. But if you don't, I untap with four mana, which is more than three. Sure. Fourteen. Yeah. Or no, eighteen. Sorry. And I'll find <clears throat> lands. Uh, one of them can be a basic, and the other one, I don't know which source is the least likely to come. It's probably this one actually. Boom! I will gain one life. Okay. Okay, and I'm shuffling uh, past Prairie. I'm going to fetch. Cool. Uh, I am going to grab a Badlands, and then I've got a spicy one. No Chaos Defiler. <laughs> no. Maybe it should be. Actually, it's ca Chaos Defiler can't hit a land, can it? No, it's only it can't hit a land. Okay, okay. Also, 
Whoever gave me the signed Badlands, please let me know. I this just showed gave up in mail the, time for you? Somebody gave Incredible. me, well, it's a German white border wow. Badlands. And they're like, want to do a trade? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. If you're comfortable with this, they're like, great. I'm like, message me immediately so I don't forget. Okay. And then they didn't message me. But they gave you their Badlands? So I have their Badlands, and I'm but, looking to get them my copy okay, of Badlands. Okay, you want to just ship them your Badlands? Yeah, this is but, just like the first time that I've been able to use okay. this platform. Hey, if you gave Wheeler a Badlands, let him know. And if you didn't, don't let him know. Stupid sexy Ooh, dragon. Ooh, stupid sexy dragon. Okay, uh, so Corbold. what happens? You, tr you get a trigger. Right? Yeah, so when a DTBs are attacks, I sack another permanent. Whenever I sack a permanent, I put a 1-1 one -one counter on him, and I draw a card. Dope. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice this this bad <laughs> Okay, fair. Uh, put a counter and draw a card. Go ahead. Not quite. Uh, let's do. Okay, I'll play a Mox Ruby. Yeah. And cat or er, cycle Jetmere's Garden. Okay. All right. It's helpful. Yeah. Go ahead. Draw. Oof. I'm gonna sacrifice my strip to blow up a basic forest Corvold trigger. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna replay my strip, sacrifice it to blow up a basic forest Corvold it. trigger. Yeah. One more, right? This is a three uh, now. now it's up to three. three yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to go to combat and attack and sacrifice this underground sea corbold trigger. Taking eight. Uh, taking eight. And then I'm going to pass. Okay, we're still out here scrapping. Beautiful Elvish Mystic that I had in my opening hand by Miguel Vilnov. Ooh. Great work. And then I'll attack for one. Okay. Go ahead. 14. Oh. I'll play a Lotus Petal. I'm at one. I'll sacrifice <laughs> right? it to add a, a black mana. Yeah. And draw a card and put a counter on Corvold. Yeah. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. You only need to sacrifice one more thing if you just replay your strip. I mean, line. I just got to fetch a fat well, get strip. Uh, no, you only play one land a turn. You don't have a way to play a second land a turn. This just lets you play something out of your yard. Oh, you're you still want, one oh, short. Oh, sorry. You say one on top of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to do something cool. Okay, so, cool. Do your cool thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're good. You're good. Uh, I'm going to play a polluted Oh, delta. you get a free one when it attacks. Or I guess I'll play this. Yeah, I get one when it attacks. Oh, I forgot about the free one when it attacks. Yeah, you just play a land, sacrifice it to do whatever, either get a land or not, then this yeah. becomes a 10, right? Yeah. And then you attack, sacrifice another one, and yeah. it's land. I'm going to do something cooler. Okay, do your cool thing. I'm dead. Great, great. It's fine. Yeah, great. Do your cool thing. I'm going to fetch. Okay. Play a land and fetch. Uh, Corvold trigger. Uh, I'm going to get a land into play. Uh, I'm going to then use that new land one and this to okay. cast <laughs> three to live. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what land do I get? Black or red? Are, you, are we, like, also attacking me with Grizzlebrand this turn? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put, uh, the Gitrog monster, uh, Atraxa, or no, Gitrog monster, Children of Corliss and Grizzlebrand. Okay. Into my grave. Classic best friends. Uh, and with Gristlebrand on top. Okay, sure. Uh, you choose the order. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm then going to play a Chromox. Okay. Uh, imprinting this Tatiova. Okay. And I'm going to cast Shallow Grave. Excellent. <laughs> Put in this Gristlebrand. Okay. Uh, I'd like to go to combat. Please. Corvold trigger. Yeah. Sack this Chromox. Okay, you got it. Uh, yeah, hit you for 18? 18. Great. Sounds good. Okay, good. <laughs> Just want to get that in there in case I get completely shrecked next game. No, that was good. I mean, I, it's sweet to show off what the deck can do. Um, Wheeler did know that I was dead to just Corvold, yeah, but yeah. Uh, this way's more fun. <laughs> Psychic damage is caused by enough of these. Greasy. Yeah, Greasy Brand. Right. Maybe that's part of the Grease too. Is that Greasy? Is it Greasy no, when that, someone kills you? Because oh, that, it, honestly... It, <laughs> no, no, we have a different name for that. Yeah, that was okay, the, fair enough. That was the Grixis Pyromancer with the reanimator package. Is, was Greasy Pizza. Uh, okay, right, right. Or Greasy Peasy. Greasy <laughs> that's Peasy. Because, it it, yeah. Because Grizzle Brand and Pyromancer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the Greasy Peasy. Excellent. <laughs> 
It's like letting someone actually storm out. Yeah, a bit like that. Absolutely. It's like, important too when you're first picking up a deck to like actually go through the motions. Like your opponent's going to be better at seeing how they're dead yeah. than you most of the time, especially if they don't have anything to do. Like I get like, you know, strip mine locked. I'm doing my best to get up to six mana because I have six drops in my hand, but like you know, my deck wasn't kind enough to hand me four drops. And I mean, you never know what your opponent's playing. So like you yeah. could have spot removal in exactly. your... Yeah. In your hand, and so or like Veil of Summer or something weird or whatever. Yeah, fog. Yeah, I feel like in Canlander, maybe this is Magic players in general. They always try to fight to like hide as much information as possible, even though it can put them into spots where they will get got by like your opponents thinking outside the box or having a, a slightly different build from what you would expect. You know, I think that's similar to like players constantly doing everything at instant speed that they possibly can and yeah. waiting till the end of their opponent's turn to do it, even though it turns out that doesn't benefit them in every scenario. Yeah. It's just like hard to get out of habits once you've formed them. There's just so many things to keep in mind when you're Magic's playing Magic. A hard game. It's a hard game. It's a hard game. Pretty difficult. Taxing, if you will. Death and taxing. Oh, oh no. no. I, did, I did that thing. Sorry. I'll just shuffle. Great. Now I know my squandered resources is... All right, if you, ever, if you ever make that mistake, you have to call a judge. And then the judge, pretty much at every uh, REL, is just going to... I mean, maybe they'll determine... I'll try to figure out if you're cheating. But if they, if they you know, uh, concur that, like, you accidentally, with no intention to gain new information, revealed one of your opponent's cards, you'll get a little uh, warning or some sort of acknowledgement of that. And then... Uh, then they just shuffle again and keep playing. On the play, thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep. I'm going to mulligan this, okay. but I want to show off the two first two cards in my hand. Uh, mm -hmm. Get Rog Monster. Hey, frog friend. Uh, tendrils <laughs> of <around> me. Mm. <laughs> See, this deck, like, you can have a lot of different games with, uh, what's it called again? Greasy Jacuzzi? Uh, yeah. Jacuzzi on Commission. Jacuzzi on Commission, yeah. right. I like decks like that. If you have like four different angles that you might play the game. Also, you killed me with like three of them yeah. <laughs> that game, right? Like first I locked to the, lost that strip mine lock, but I was still fighting. And then I lost a core vault, and then I lost a gristle brand. It was great. Yeah. I might try to uh, win two different ways this game myself. Oh, we'll see. Dark Depths and... <laughs> and uh, yeah, you gotta... If you haven't given Merit Lage, um, you know, plus 15 and Trample yet, you know, are you even really playing Hoof? Sometimes you have to give the Merit Lage Trample because they have a Bitter Blossom. Oh. I gotta go to five. One lander. One lander. This deck plays a hefty amount of lands. It's 37 or 38. For a combo deck. But Glacial Chasm doesn't count. Yeah. But it also has, again, like Mox Diamond, Chrome Mox. Right. Like you have fast mana. I'm used to losing to Lotus Petal in various situations, but the one where it's just like, oh, the Lotus Petal puts another plus and plus and counter on Core yeah. Vault, that's new for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess it's probably the last one, hey? What do you think? Uh, Unless it's yeah. super quick. Rally. Ooh. Yabba dabba. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. Cool. Fetch. Get a basic. Boreal Druid? Yep. Actually, wait, no, I'm gonna get a Tiger. Okay. I'm gonna get a Tiger. Go ahead. Uh, Inquisition of Kozilek. Take a look. We got everyone's favorite, Rurik Thar. Yep. A Grim Monolith, that's probably what you're taking, or yeah. it has to be what you're taking, actually, in a natural order. Oh, well, I'll take that Grim Monolith. You got it. I'm still finding this Tiger. Uh, and that'll be a pass. Okie dokie. Also, yeah, these two lands in, in the opening hand. Sometimes no Primeval Titan is required. Huh. 
Your bayou looks like it's in your graveyard. We didn't put the wrong one in there. We're not playing Pokemon. You don't have to stack energy underneath your Inquisition of Kozilek. <laughs> Uh, flip for Paralyze. That's right. Yeah. Uh, move to, um, I don't know, Trainer Academy. <laughs> move to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to uh, move my Pokemons uh, to a Pokemon Center. Move to Trainer Academy. That's right. That's what I want to do. Okay, it's Thespian Stage. You know what? You love it. And uh, I only have one green mana, huh? Okay, let's cast Once Upon a Time main phase. Sure. Looking at the top five. Artifact, Planeswalker, Enchantment, you say. I didn't even know my deck had all those things. Okay, I'll put this forest into my hand. Yeah. I have to get a lander creature. Creature right? land. Yeah. Put these four on the bottom in a extremely random order. And attack you for one. Ooh, back you. Tundra. Life from the Loam, go. My hand can beat a couple of your plans. I don't know if it can beat this plan. Go. Dredge. Unmarked Grave, Intuition, and Savannah. Am I supposed to do this draw step instead of waiting till end of turn? Uh, I, like do it in, I like doing it in draw step. Because if I have like yeah. a strip here. Yeah, trust me on. I'm going to go for sure, it. Sure, all swords in. Okay. I'm, I'm, I, I it's fine. I don't have do. swords. I don't have swords. Okay. Sorry. Um, uh, sacrifice this. Sacrifice this. Get a twenty. No, I'm uh, I'm Dops. Okay. Yeah. I have this duress and Agorios. Uh, was hoping to hit something off of uh, this loam, but uh, I can't interact with dark Dups. Sneaky Please. one more. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Sneaky one more. Yeah. Yeah. Called a, shot. Was that was one. too quick. Too quick. A little too quick. Besides, they took forever with that last one. <laughs> God, I, mean, I felt myself getting old back there. What you know, happened? I did my taxes. This is why you. This is why you got to keep this on the the first monitor. First monitor content, baby. Yeah. A uh, dark depths at the table. What and, happened? Uh, to... I wasn't able to block or answer it. Game of Can games of Canadian Highlander occasionally look like you know vintage. That okay. wasn't really a vintage game, but closer to a legacy game. But we do have turn one wins. Yeah. You there, at home, if you are currently not watching this on your main monitor, turn to your main monitor, because you'll get a gift. Wow. Aww. And he delivered. Incredible. Usually that costs $5. Wow. Yeah, you. That's right. Free smooch content? Yeah, I charge my husband $5 per kiss. <laughs> per, per kiss across the per, room? Per kiss across the room. At work? <laughs> Cowardice. Honey, can you take the dog out? Not unless I get my smooches. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll you do the rest. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. We're going all right, six. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Has a lot of potential. Uh, I join me. I've got to. I got to go six. Join us. Got to go to six. It was like a fast bond, some mana, Tatiova, and a Yogmoss bargain. Uh, Maybe I should have kept. Not but, ideal. Yeah, it was not ideal. My hand has a Rofalo, so I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide whether I bought a Mox Emerald or a land. Oh. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> it's like a weird one. I mean, I feel like it's probably the land. Yeah, I bought him the land. That's probably right. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. But this deck does produce hands where you're like, well, bunch of busted mana accelerants. Can't keep all of them. And in some games, when you like when you actually play the game out, it's like, hmm, I wish that this mana dork was just a land, you know. 
All right, good luck. Good luck. No, I get so first. You just won. No, what? that's no, you wrong. Just, you I just dark me into the dirt. You know what? Because he won three different ways in that one game, I'm still just thinking that I lost every game. <laughs> oh. And it was too quick. By you. Mox yeah. Emerald. Rothalos. Yeah. Pass. Uh, fetch for a Scrubland and Vampiric Tutor. Excellent. I just, I, I always love how happy and uh, carefree Rothalos is. He's wasted. Especially when he's, Dude's like, drunk. the number one target whenever he comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Just, like, enjoy every second. Yeah. Rofflos does. Like, I, I don't think I've seen Rofflos stay around on the board for very long, ever. Yeah, he's, he just wins the game if he's... It's either <laughs> winning the game or, or, like, immediately getting killed. Yeah. Mm. It's like that sometimes. Cards in Four. 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 Uh, I can blow... Like, I can... Blow up your land and your Rothalos, but then I'm so down on cards. I think I have to play by my game plan. Maybe. I don't know. Do I have to kill this Rothalos, or am I like, am I just? If you listen to Paul, apparently you do. Yeah, I gotta listen to Paul. (laughs) I mean, I don't have to, but I will. No, no, you can you can leave Rothalos to his happy, merry way. Paul's right. I should murder this elf. He's drunk enough that he won't even notice. <laughs> That's true. Sure. I don't have to show you, you're but 18, I'm, I'm right? going to. Uh, oh, I should get my. Oh, you're, scrub at se- you're at seventeen. That's, yeah, yeah. 17. Get your scrub land. Yeah. I'm going to draw. Th- I'm going to find this scrub land. Okay. I'm then going to draw this card for the turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to swords to plowshares. Your Rafalos. Twenty-two. Play land. Yeah, I'm going to wasteland your buyer. You got it. I think this is correct. Okay. Go ahead. Untapping. It's a little ham, but... It was a little ham. I don't know. Land mocks Rothalos is pretty scary. If you have, like, any other forest. Good thing now Rothalos has some plowshares he can deal with that wasteland. Yeah. I'm going to fetch for a basic. Yeah. And then cast an Arbor Elf. Go. Okay. This one. This one will do. Forest. Go. Marsh Flats. Yeah, right? Grim Model F. Attack for one. 60. Go. Mm. Horizon Canopy. Ram and Nap. Ram and Nap. Oh, Black Betty. Ram and Nap. Go. You just dab on me? There was a fruit fly. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I thought you were like, draw. <laughs> yeah, just a quick dab. Yeah, just, a, just, a, just about five years too late on it, but you know. Hey, the kids are still, they know what dabbing is. They're not doing it, but they recognize dabbing, apparently. The dab well, they've read it in their history books. <laughs> <laughs> the dab is just like the horse's tail. Like, yeah. it's, you're just kind of like whipping flies away. Okay, yeah. non-legendary three drop or less. Give me a second. Fauna Shaman, you're looking okay. Mm. Damn girl. Shaman, what Damn girl, to? what are you oh, doing? Wait. Pitching? What am I thinking? It's definitely this. No. 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 My wasteland. I can't yeah. play it anymore. Go ahead. There's no way you play an open round town. <laughs> There's no way. What kind of madman would play Overgrown Tomb? Uh, I'm gonna play. Oh, there's another land in there. I'm supposed to go get. Whoops. Oh, do you have? Do you want to hit? Uh, nah, it's fine. It's fine. I missed it. Keep going. I'm gonna play up this funded strand. Yeah. I'm gonna cast fast bond. Okay. I'm gonna fetch. Down to fourteen. I'll would respond. You like to respond. Yes. Sure. I'll find a savannah. Oh, I cut right to it. I don't like other funded strand. Uh, Wait, maybe it's just a way to exile your horizon canopy. Ah, whatever. No matter what, I played this turn with this scam to use super wrong. Good for me. Uh, I feel like there are very few 
magic cards that actually have a picture of like a pointy hat, suns and moons on his robe, wizard. He's, and it's a green card. And it's a green card, yeah. Like, <laughs> That's right, yeah. The most stereotypical, like, we have to get to the orb kind of wizard, and yeah. it's on a green card. That's right. We have to get to the orb so we can ponder it. That orb needs pondering. Blue orb needs pondering. Uh, I'm going to crack this rising Sweet. canopy to draw. Ooh. I'm going to replay this. Lose one. Okay, I said this already, but I've just recognized that my opponent has, like, Gristlebrand <laughs> with these three cards. Well, it costs a mana, though, right? To sack it. Yeah. Right. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't I don't have it yet. Yeah, yeah. If you had, like, a... The fetch land... Getting the fetch land was actually valuable I'm going to crack. So... Uh, I'm going to replay it. I'm going to... And I lose one. And I'm going to play a Savannah, and I okay. lose one. Uh, and then I'm going to crack this. I don't lose one for this. I'm going to replay this, and I lose one. Landstorm is seven. I'm going to tap this, and I lose one. And I'm going to cast Children of Corliss. Oh, sick. Uh, and I'm going to then sacrifice... start the turn at 14? Is that right? Or? Uh, I believe so. Okay, yeah. I think 14. I'm going to... 14 or... No, 15, because 14 from the fetch. Sure. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four... I think, I think, yeah, 15. Maybe it's 16, but I think it's 15. You fetched with this twice. Yeah. So you counted that? One, two, three, uh, four for mana. Was one, it, did Wheeler start at one, 16? Two, I three, remember. Was there one more? Four, oh, this thing? Yeah, this one, two, five. Three, so four, 15, five. 15. 15 is right, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, or five. Yeah. Great. 15. So I'll go up to 15. Perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to pass. Okay. Untap, not you. Untap, not you. I mean, that's probably probably does something. I hate scavenging oof so much. I think it's my yeah, least it's garbage. People people bring up it's oof. a mistake. People bring up oof. People bring up mind sensor. No, scoos. Yeah, it's a beating. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably do that. Is that more important than that? No. I'll attack for eight. And there's two. There creatures. is a Rufflos so Okay, uh, yeah. no blocks. Oh, yeah, your children's girl as well. Just eight is okay. fine. I go to seven. Cards in hand? Uh, two. Or three. Three. Is this worth it? I actually don't know. I'm going to cast all Jeremy's Call. Yep. Take a look. I'm thinking about getting a Rex Sage just to blow up Fast Bond, but I'm not positive that that's better than keeping up mana. Although I guess, like I can't even respond in your main phase. Oh, I can, because this will put a trigger on this, or an activity ability on this. When I crack it. Yeah. Right, okay, I can respond to that one. Like you, this and this and this, like these two plus strip mine. This doesn't beat it, right? Because you just keep playing it. Or yeah. no, it's the same thing. It's still activated. There's still trigger stack. abilities, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, it's it actually is still pretty good. Okay, well, Wheeler, am I supposed to get this Knight of Autumn, or am I supposed to do something else? Oh yeah, technically that elf is exiled because he's farming. STP. Uh, wait, what are we talking about? This one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, that's just important. for Scoo's. That is important. Yeah, that's important. Sorry. Thank you. Good catch. Um. Sure. Okay, yeah, I'll put this one in my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I'll say go. Mm. Like, I feel like I'd be naked if you have recursion, which is probably worse than just keeping Skews up. After a full turn conversation about how annoying Skews is. Seems correct to let Skews do its thing. I'm going to cast the one ring. Mm, that's also a good one. Mm. Okay, so you currently have protection from everything. Yep, until my next turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tap and draw a card. Great. Go. All right, let me, <laughs> let me is, exile your yard. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Target card, is, not target player. Is yeah. that one of the only cards this that has made a big impression in... Uh... 
bow masters or, in this are orcish the two bow big masters ones. is the biggest i'm one, playing a delighted halfling in my deck yeah halfling's really good there's a lot of cards it's basically the third card in the conversation i would say this is indestructible right this one is yeah yeah okay uh, and then there's a bunch of cards in the commander deck yep let's try this thing and i'm gonna play this jet mirror's garden sure I take one. Right. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. Got two. I've fetched and I can't get my life total back up. Please send nudes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, the scavenging is against the all-in graveyard yeah, combo deck. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Pretty you need, you need the sword. You don't use the swords already. You need yeah. another removal spell. Uh, it's actually dead to bolt. No, you're not in that color. Oh. oh. Uh, that's pretty bad. You just and you have two up. Two mana, yeah. Unless you can break this somehow, yeah. I'll go to five. Play a Tatiova. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to play this land and gain one and draw a card. Okay. And I'll pass. I'll exile your fast bond just yeah. to be mean. No. No. Um, six. That doesn't work right No. Stymied. Me not having enough mana. Um... It's weird that Scavenging just doesn't want to attack into Tatiova. That's Come probably on. incorrect. I guess I could just do this for that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll attack for six. I will block. Great. Nissa, Ascended Animist, completed. I lose four life. Okay. So she comes in with three loyalty, is that right? Two less, two less loyalty. So I guess I could pay six, but I don't want to. Um, so she'll have three loyalty, and I'll go plus one to make a Phyrexian Horror, where X is Nissa's loyalty. Okay. I guess the, the plus one goes on first, right? So make a four four. Yeah. Go ahead. Go to four. That's how the Phyrexians win, Nelson. You'd be like, yeah, I could pay the full price, but eh, I won't. I don't want to. Why would I? Uh, I'm going to tap the one ring to draw three cards. Nice. Oh. Oh yeah, Lorian revealed has gotten a bunch of play too. That's right. I'm just playing a draw zone. I guess I can start off with a land war wastes. Go up to five and draw a card. That's a magic card. I'm going to cast demonic tutor. That's a pretty good one. It's pretty good. One. Yeah, turns out. Resolves. You can exile one card. Yeah, I have one green mana. Mm. I got kind of a kind of a cool turn here. Sweet. I'll grab this. Oh, actually, yeah, that's fine. Ooh. Um. This card just makes me want to put Kiora's follower in every deck now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so good with Manamo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Manamo. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play awesome. Squandered Resources. Okay, you have 400 mana. Uh, I'm going to play Tireless Provisioner, going to four. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to sack. I need some D6s here for mana, because I'm going to sack all my lands. And you know you know we're in for a treat. Mm -hmm. Time for the storm mana cards. Yeah. yeah. Uh, black, black, black. So three black mana. Okay. Uh... Green, green, white, green. So three green and a white. So three black, three green and a white. 
Uh, I'm going to cast Splendid Reclamation uh, using one and three green here. Okay, let me see the yard right now. Sure. Okay, so yeah, each one of these lands represents Wheeler getting a landfall from Tireless Provisioner and a trigger from Tatiova. Yeah. So I could take out one of those, and I can even hit a utility land that prevents future draws, or I could hold my one green mana in the hopes that it keeps me from getting locked out. And when it's one against seven, it's like six against seven, I think I'd rather do it that way. Go for it. Spend the recommendation Great. resolves. Yeah. Uh, so I return all my lands to play, tapped. Uh, I have seven Tatiova triggers, and I have seven Tireless Provisioner triggers. Uh, I'm just going to make seven treasures. That's fine. Jesus Christ. Uh, the super, super, like, uh, competitive way to do it probably is to stack the Tireless Provisioner on the bottom and then draw all the cards and then, yeah, yeah. then make the decision, but I just you're going to make I seven treasures. Mana. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then one, two, three... For Four, the YouTube five, comments. Six, seven. Uh, and I go up to 11. Without Fast Bond, though, this might be a little tricky. Uh, also, Storm is currently one, two, three. Four. four. Storm is four. Storm's four. Yeah, why don't you give me a D20? Sure. Four. Thank you. Yeah, Storm's four. Um, These are in your yard. Yep. Um, I'm going to use the three man I have floating to cast Buried Alive. Storm's five. Okay. Shieldred. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when Shieldred wears the ring, it's not a good scene. <laughs> That's kind of hot, but unnecessary. Get Rog Monster. Eowyn. I can kill the most fearsome warriors in all of Middle Earth. Shale Dread. Hold my Hold beer. Hold my beer. Yeah. Uh, and Gristlebrand. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Technically, it's like. This, I'm going to cast. Thanks for your patience, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> this was our supposed to be our sneaky one. I'm going to cast Dance of the Dead, targeting uh, Get Rock Monster. Okay, I. Is that the bait? Is that the bait, chat? <laughs> <laughs> like, it lets you play another land. Whatever. Sure, I will try to eat Get Rock Monster. Sure. Okay, I'm bigger. I gain a life. Uh, I'm F6. Going to, I'm yeah. going to Gorio's Vengeance. Fair shielded. enough. Yeah, yeah. I'm at 17. Mm. I'm going to use three of these treasures to cast Frantic Search. Okay. Um, That's hot. I'm going to draw two, Game discard four. two. Gaining you four. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Mm. Sorry, this is like Storm is up to seven now, right? Yeah. Yeah, Buried was five, Dance. Yeah, Storm is seven. Uh, one. Two, three. Okay. Mm. Um, I can do that for that. That was Storm 8, I think, actually, yeah. right? Yeah. Three. I'm going to cast Intuition. Okay. <clears throat> Tendrils. This game was sweet. Second sunrise. <laughs> Face reward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Which one's worse for me between face reward and second sunrise? Uh, face reward is, well, second sunrise is symmetrical, but you don't I have, have, have anything. anything. Yeah. Okay. So face reward is more expensive. Okay, sure. So you can have the face reward. Sure. And then 
I'm going to sacrifice three, four, five, six, seven um, floating, I guess, black, black, green. And I'm going to cast Face Reward. Great. Um, or this one just brings them into play. They're not even tapped. Oh, cool. That one's just tapped because it's tapped. Okay. Yeah. But did anything else from that pile? It has to be from the battlefield? It has to be from the battlefield. Okay, There's cool. this Dance of the Dead, but it was... It's, it um, was counter on the Counter. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so so I have seven... Triggers. Yeah. <laughs> seven tireless provisioner triggers. I am just going to get all food. Uh, um, 55 hamburgers, 55 hot dogs, 55, 55, 55 shakes. Uh, I'm going to get seven Tatiova triggers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to get seven Shoulder triggers. So you gain 21. Gain 21. Yeah. Up to 36. Sweet. Um, now I'm going to. This is Storm. This is Storm 10. I'm going to demonstrate a. I'm going to kill you. Sure. Finally. Um, I'm going to use the three here and three here uh, to cast Yogmoth's Bargain. <coughs> okay. Skip my draw step, pay one life, draw a card. Great. So I get to pay a life and draw a card, and then Shieldred's going to gain me two. Right. So I get to effectively draw my deck. Draw your deck, gain 50 life or something. 55 okay. hamburgers. <laughs> 55 hamburgers. <laughs> 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 so, so I'm going to draw my deck, uh, and then I'm going to Time Twister. Okay. And put the tendrils back into my deck. Okay. Uh, don't then draw your deck again. And draw my deck. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. Good game. Thank you for the games. Absolutely. So I think we'll take a little break now. <laughs> yeah. And we'll come back with uh, Alex and a mystery opponent. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go away. We'll be right back. More magic. Canadian Highland. Seems crazy, no? But here in our little village of Anatevka, you might say each day is a Canadian Highlander. <laughs> uh -huh. how, how bad did I mess up your bed? Uh, I didn't even okay, have Okay, you bit. didn't have one, so no, I just I made just... it much worse. Yeah. Uh, we're playing Canadian Highlander. I'm Ben and this is Alex. Hello. And we're going to fight. We rolled dice. I got higher. Alex is going first. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Green. Okay. This homie. Let's do it. Okay. This homie. Okay. Go. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Zurin orb. Zorb. Tundra. You got it. Mox diamond. You got it. Pitching wasteland. Yeah. Which maybe could have been more aggressive. Uh, Lotus Cobra. You got it. Go ahead. You... Don't kill my cobra. No, Sir, my cobra. Your cobra is a dobra. Flint. Uh, good? Yeah. Untap. Ho, oh, oh, ho, it's magic attack. Before <clears throat> damage, I oh. will pump it with Gore Clan Rampage. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, 14. Go. So mm. it's going to be one of those kind of games, huh? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Dark Ritual? Ooh, that's kind of scary. One ring. Ooh. I lost to this last time. Uh, well, we'll have to hurry up. I'll tap it. Draw a card. Okay. Go. Untap. Let's see you struggle. Uh, Arid Mesa will be fetcheted. It's fun getting into struggles. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun getting into struggles. Uh, yeah, let's get a... Tasia. I'm gonna play uh, Deja Vu. Speedy Speed Boy. I guess something's burning. Speedy Speed Boy. And crappers. <laughs> Take zero. Right. Well, uh, whatever. Do you want to do something else? No, I'm gonna attack you anyway. Okay. It's about sending a message. Yep. Uh, 13. Like, I'd probably play this guy anyways, because, like, yeah, turn, just I'm gonna, mana efficient. I'm gonna crunch him. I'm gonna Juan Ring. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, am I doing this? Uh, I'm just looking at my hand of not cards. Nards. 
Oh, my nards. Oh, my nards. Um, huh. This is pretty bad, but wah, you have two wah, cards wah, in wah. hand? Dose. I'm going to cast Animate Dead on your Gore Clan Rampage. Oh, shh. That's... I got a 3-4 blocker. Go ahead. Okie dokie. Untap as La Biblioteca. Um... To draw. Oh, right, that's what this guy does. I can exert him. Yep. Make it so that guy can't block. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Enoch Chuck. Jesus. Uh, let's exert this guy. He can't block. I take nine. Um, how about 12? <laughs> so that's a six. And that's a seven. 13 total. If you like it, then you should have uh, I'm going to sacrifice my Tundra to gain two life. You got it, buddy. Uh, so now this doesn't get the bonus because I don't have a non basic land. Oh, sneaky McGeeky. But it doesn't matter because it's like scale up anyway. Oh, mm -hmm. I know it would have been one more point. Well, I take nine plus three, so gotcha. I take 12 now. Okay. Uh, so I go, to thir I go to three. Okay. And then your upkeep, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, upkeep? I tapped wrong. Oh, well. Uh, I take two. Draw a card. Yeah. I'm going to tap this and uh, draw three cards. Yeah. Well, that's kind of hot. <laughs> um, I'm terrified. I'm going to cast Children of Corliss. <gasps> Holy moly. I'm then go to immediately sacrifice it to gain two life. Nice. Uh, and then I'm going to play a Temple Garden tapped and you, pass. You got it. This guy doesn't untap. No. But he's no longer Honk Shoe. God, that's quick. It is pretty quick. My speed is uh, very fast. Yep. Go. Uh, so this ability on the stack, yeah. I'm going to sack this to gain two life. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll float a green, okay. uh, and then I take three. Wow. You know, this one ring thing seems kind of dangerous. I, I don't know. On your draw step when you draw cards off of this. Like, draw step. Yeah. Um, it's tar fire. Catch it. So many cards that deal so much damage. Okay, okay. okay. I felt like I was in that until I stumbled. Uh, or sorry, until I didn't hit my land drop. I feel like... Uh, like, I was feeding you haymakers pretty hard, so that was like... Yeah, one mana plus five damage is pretty gross. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. that's okay. fine. Okay, yep. That's oh, that seems so good. I mean, I sense that this is the the sort of uh, how this has got to go. Like, Wheeler's deck is designed to try to like stall out the game, mm -hmm. and Alex is trying to get go as quickly as yeah, possible. Yeah, my strategy for this matchup is go fast. So, like, if if Wheeler's in dead by like turn three or four, he's probably in a good I'm in, spot. I'm in deep shit. Yeah. yeah, I had a Shieldred, and like I had stuff that I could do, but. Um, not while missing my land drops, mm -hmm. but that's okay. That hand was a little risky, then, but I, I like it. I keep it. And when you start sacrificing land that you really need in order to just stay stay alive, that's yeah. Always, yeah, that's always bad. Not in a great spot. Uh, this is bad even for this deck. Um, I will keep this. This is tough because the different things that this deck can do, they're not really... Like, the pivot from doing, like, graveyard combo stuff into grindy landlock, like, keep you off your mana kind of plays. Uh, not really what you want in this matchup. Like, I want... The way I beat you is I also go fast. Mm. Um, or I set up, like, a 
a really absurd landlock combo, but that, that takes time and mana and life, life that I may not have. Huh. Your life points directly. Uh, I'll keep it. Oh, this hand might not do anything. Go to the shrine tap. Go ahead. Um. Oh, the choices. Uh, let's go. This one and this one. Mm hmm. Where is it? There it is. Kaja. Yep. There you go. Doink. Yep. Go. Uh, Misty Rainforest Pass. Yes. Untap. It. Okay, so. Um, oh, I'm free now. Uh, it costs three mana. Three mana and the Phyrexian. Oh, right. Whoops. Never mind then. Um, hmm. Thinking. Oh, love this piss. <laughs> it's like, I am drinking piss. Check me out. I am drinking piss. Yeah, I think I Cup of that jackal's piss. I do need a cup of that jackal's piss. What are they doing? Prowess, prowess. What is this? Rochelle, Rochelle. Red, green. Sorry, you wouldn't think this would be that difficult. It is very funny that uh, as the combo deck that has some pretty explosive wild turns both my opponents have been the like <sighs> and this this B, B, and this uh, uh yep no blocks no effects okay second main phase Urgh. yep oh, goat scary uh drop Reading pool, go. Might of Old Crosa, mm -hmm. main phase, target. Mm -hmm. Target Dreadhorde Arcanist, yep. seven plus four. Yeah. Uh, prowess trigger. Yeah. Attack. Yeah. Trigger. Uh, yeah. I will cast Might of Old Crosa. Yeah. And Plus two. Yeah. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I'm going to fetch. I'm okay. going to uh, grab a Savannah. I'm going to cast Weather the Storm. Oh, did you just fog me? Kind of. You did too much damage. Um, but I'm going to gain nine. Damn. Uh, so I go to 26, and then I take 11, and I go to 15. So you did fog me. Kinda. As and much as I can. this is RFG. Okie dokie. Mm. It's a little tough. I was hoping to get more spells out of you. Oh, how fat for you. I mean, it is. You're killing me. I'm dying out here, Squirtle. <laughs> it's super effective. Okay. What do I need? I mean, I know one card I could go for. Please cut me to it. Okay. That's not it. That's not I tried. It at all. Go. Doink. Good. This hand was maybe a mulligan. I mean, it was no. potentially wrong. Um, <sighs> prowess. Uh, attack. 
flash it back through this guy. Okay, and then Paros again. So this is a whole bunch of stuff. So it's like, so one, four, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Thirteen. Okay. I got a two. Go. Okay. Easy peasy. Well, oh, and that's exiled. Yes, thank you. I got a two, huh? Yep. Crazy world. Huh? Well, I'm going to just uh, fetch both of these and get Rog Monster. Oh, no. Yeah, I had a hand with a bunch of reanimation and, like, uh, combo cards. But, uh... This guy, pretty dumb with pump spells. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty... I think my... I'll have a more reasonable time mm -hmm. with, like, a more... Standard art like uh, aggressive deck, like just red deck wins, or I don't know, like even like the more aggressive like white weenie style mm -hmm. decks. What'd you put on the bottom? Okay, never mind. That um, would have been funny. Wasn't what I needed. I needed an entomb. Ah, yeah. Um, but the ones because the blitz decks are willing to sacrifice like cards in hand for just immediate upfront mm -hmm. damage, and like you know they're more. Explosive. The candle that burns twice as bright burns half as long. And I mean, you're still on fire. Yeah. I guess at the end of the day, you're still on fire. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get, let's get one of these muffins on the board. Let's get one of the muffins. You got muffins? I mean, you have muffins. I had some muffins Whoa, last round. Wait, is that a magic thing? Yeah. I or whatever. Know. I mean, they're muffins, right, Paul? Yeah, they're happy muffins. Yeah, they're muffins. Yeah, they're muffins. Oh, the Aw Muffin. Oh. Uh, I... <laughs> he will keep... I think. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one. Triome. Zurinorp. Okay, go. Play a tap land. Oh! Go. Yes, yes, let's go. Let's go! Go. <laughs> you are frightening me. Um, Montagna. Mm -hmm. Dryad Militant. Yes, Queen. Grim Levamuncer. Yeah. Go. Light tutor. You got it. Uh, I'm going to grab Fast Bond. I think. Mm -hmm. I think. I hate that one. For Bond? It's stupid. It is kind of Only gross. dumbs play. You know, I was I was trying to get them to uh, put Fast Bond to zero for years. Uh, that's... Hmm. That was me. It's the premier lands pilot of the format. It's a little surprising that it's you and not Surge. I mean, not to brag, but I've won a couple of tournaments with lands. Ew! Uh, draw. Um, this is XL. Oh. I mean, you really should be making the uh, Roblox. Oh. Ooh. That's, um, the, that's the old Minecraft one. Go. Is that? Ooh. Oh, you mean that? Yeah. Ooh. Is that how you do it? Maybe. Ooh. <laughs> it's a ooh what's Don't a, gain what's life. What's then? Oh. <laughs> uh, combat. Wow, that really kills me. Oh, also, that's you that's excellent. Right, okay. uh, I got a seventeen. You're up. It's, that's kind of the whole point of my deck is gaining life. Oh, uh, I can see this intuition. that is unfortunate. It's really hard to ponder your Zern orb, or there's a dinosaur just like <laughs> right there. <laughs> so what am I doing? I mean, you can still dumpster all your lands. That's a thing you could do. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. How do I... Why did they ban this card? It's oppressive. 
This is pushing so down up. on me. Um. Well. Sorry, you'll have to excuse me. Um, this is What's your literally what my deck does <coughs> is gain life, mm -hmm. and uh, I need a way to not die. I mean, you play removal, right? I do, but I don't play a huge amount of removal, and in fact, I don't play enough to reliably get one off this intuition. So, I need to set up my pile. Hey, a pile. Like. This. We Sorry, were... I, didn't, I didn't actually think we would, that this would happen. <laughs> uh, this never, sorry, this never happens. I swear to God, this never happens. This says, if it would be put into a graveyard exile from anywhere exiled. So these are getting exiled, no matter what. So maybe I can't do that. Maybe I just have to try and kill you. <laughs> I genuinely don't think I can beat this card. Like, I might concede. Like, Dried Militant? No, or the, well, the combination of the Militant and uh, the this is Frostodon. This fairly backbreaking. Like, you can see why I kept this even with a tap land. Like, maybe... I mean, on one hand, it's just like I can't fault you because I'm going to kill you. I would have killed you this turn. Dang. Um, maybe that's what I have to do. Gotta give me the one ring, I guess. Okay. <laughs> it's the thing you want plus the two other things that you need to get the thing that you want. I mean, it's like... Oh, I guess you lose the other things. You don't. They don't actually. Yeah, those are, yeah, those are toast. Yeah, like this is a big pain. He buys a turn by fogging me with the one ring. But... Not like I also need to draw land for this. But my deck has a lot of lands. That's not one of them. Uh oh. Uh, I'm gonna play Nissa. Okay. And I'm gonna pass. Oh, I lose one. She's a Lotus Cobra. And draw. Note to self, we die to Ferocidon. Oh yeah, this is great. Karkin Intimidator, I'll take, I'll lose a life. Mm -hmm. um, coward. Yeah. Uh, scale up, planet yeah. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Oh, four. Go. You know what? I don't blame Nissa. That's a giant, giant uh, chicken stuff coming up. Yeah, it's scary. Uh, I'm going to play a Temple Garden tapped trigger, and I'm going to play the One Ring. Okay. And I'm going to pass. Fog. Untap. We sure picked a lot of interactive decks to play. <laughs> just, just ships. This is what happens when nobody brings blue. Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. Go. Go to draw. Ow. Draw. Oh, that's. Oh my God, that dies to Frost on too. All of my game plans die to this thing. I have this Titania Zern orb to make a bunch of blockers. It dies to Frost on. I have this Zern orb gain infinite life. It dies to Frost on. Ah! Uh, I'm losing it. Bling ding ding. All right, I'm gonna draw two. Bling ding ding. Bling ding ding. Bling ding ding. Bing, ding, ding. Play a land. Uh, add a uh, black, uh, white mana. Yas. Do I want to add black? I want to add black. Black mana. Yas. Uh, the get rock. The getter. I got a two. Did you get her done? What? Who? Uh, I'm pretty sure I have all the elementals in my hand, too. Do 
I have another elf. G uh, but it I don't actually remember. Hey, chat. Can you double? Can you let me know if my deck has any other elves or elementals beyond Titania and Nissa? Just so I don't waste a bunch of time exiling from this. Um, I'm gonna sack a land, draw a card. Okay. Uh. This, uh, tireless oh, Tireless pro Provisioner. Yeah, okay, tireless perfect. Provisioner. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to play an additional <laughs> land. So I add a mana okay. from Nyssa. Um, and because it's my second time that I'm doing this, uh, I'm going to add a white mana. Um, oh, wait, no, I'm going to add a green mana. Because it's my second time, I get to reveal cards until I hit an elf or an elemental. Huh. And I have a Tireless Provisioner. And that's it. Great. I don't remember what Tyler's Provisioner does. It's like a Lotus Cobra, except it makes treasures or food tokens. And he's an elemental? No, this is elf or elemental. Oh, he's an elf. An elf. Well, let's see what you hit first. Crystal Brand's an elf, right? Yeah. Elf on the shelf. A lot of these cards have elves on them. There, there you go. go. Uh, and then these get put on the rest of my bottom in a random order. So I can't actually play this, though, because uh, the Frostodon is going to kill me. Which is kind of funny. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. I topped on that. Um, I'm probably going to get back in there anyways. Well, that answers that question. Um... All oh, right. Do you mind if I had a white off this? I suppose, yeah. The information's it's not fine. changed. Yeah. Just the ferocidon uh, looming at the back of my mind. Uh, I'm going to fetch. <clears throat> so I go to one. I you, draw. You got it, buddy. Uh, I'll grab a tropical island, which... Oh, it doesn't even matter if I enter the white or not. I'll add another white. Actually, I should add a black. I'll add a black. So I got a white and a black in my pool. Okay. Um, I'm going to sack this overgrown tomb to Zern Orb, which doesn't do anything, but I get to draw a card. Sack this forest to draw a card. Sack this tundra to draw a card. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The Gabrog's hungry. Yep. Yep. Um, going to play this Lotus Petal. Yeah. And sack it for a white. Going to float a green, sack it, draw a card. Going to float a green, sack it, and draw a card. Last time I saw this kind of digging, it was in a mining video. I love Minecraft. Me too. Uh, I'm going to cast Ooh. Second Sunrise. So I re we both return every uh, permanent that isn't a planeswalker that went to the graveyard. So, so yeah. Uh, but some of these are going to come into play tapped and also just kind of be useless. Um, but I have a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have, or sorry, I have seven. I have seven Nissa triggers. Okay. Um, make a bunch of mana. I'm going to make a bunch of mana. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll have nine mana total. I can't play a creature. I can't gain life. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice this the orb to draw a card. Sack to draw. Feed the orb. Sack to draw. Sack to draw. Okay. So I've cast one. Oh, this is exiled. I've cast one, two, three cards this turn. Okay. 
Storm is three. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to float a green, sack to draw. I'm going to tap for a blue and cast Ponder, going up to four spells. I've got a shuffle. Note to self, draw for Rosadon every game. Sack to draw. Uh, float a blue, sack to draw. Um, going to sack this petal to go up to four black. And then we are going to do it all over again. Go to cast face reward. <laughs> One. Jeez. Three, four. So we return everything that uh, this is one sided. Yeah, I put on the scanner. One, two, three, four. Five, six, so third eight. sunrise. Yeah, forget second breakfast. This is we're on to our third. third yeah, third or fourth breakfast. Uh, now. So seven more landfall triggers. I'm going to go up to seven black, and also storm is five. I'm gonna go up to seven black. You can just kill me with tendrils, can't you? Yeah, that's the plan. Yikes. Uh, a green. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's very uh, possible I lose this one, folks. Seven. Uh, I have no idea if he's drawn it, but he's yeah, probably he, got the way. I'm going to cast Chrome Mox. Okay. Storm yeah, six. Question is, has he already drawn it, or is he still looking for it? I do have the tendrils in hand. Here. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, I'm going to pitch this children to Chromox. Uh, I'm going to fire off this duress. Go to six black mana. Storm is seven. I will take that boss wing defense. Uh, I really wish I had a red open, because then I could just kill you with Lava Mancer. <laughs> I'm going to weather the storm. Uh, and gain zero life. But, uh, Storm is eight. Yeah. And then I'm going to tendrils of agony you uh, for 18. Ouchie, Baba. And kill and you. I don't believe I have a way to gain life. Which is a shame, because if I did... I like how you, weathered, <laughs> you did weather the storm to increase the storm. Yeah. Okay. We got one. And even after I just complained about Frosted I genuinely, I, I drew very well on that. It's true. Um, also, like, I, you dug really, really, really hard. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. If you had pulled, like, a um, swords, or, do you have, like, a swords or something? I do. I have a swords to plowshares. So if you had been able to just... Remove the frosted on that would have also Oh, it got so much right? easier. Yeah. If I remove the frosted on, I, I can create a loop with the cards in my hand instead of having to still keep drawing off the top. But um, yeah, you see, that's why it's greasy. Paul, <laughs> the vibes. Paul, we were taught. Paul was trying to get a grasp on how greasy a deck can be and what, all that. What, like what, this one's, what greasy means what in the greasy context means. of magic? Yeah. And I said it's about the vibes. Gotcha. And uh, it's hard to really just, you know, write down a recipe of how to get greasy. Um, but I hope that demonstrated to Paul and to you, the viewer, of uh, the different <laughs> well, kind of grease. We're out of time. We are out of time. Um, if you liked the grease that you saw here, uh, the deck lists that we played are going to be available in the VOD down below, assuming you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, but either way, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thank you to Alex. Hey, thanks. Uh, Surgeon Nelson, who aren't here anymore. Uh, Paul Hunter. Hello. Uh, and all of you, the viewers, and especially those of you that support us over at patreon.com slash loading ready run, uh, because everything we do around here is uh, brought to you uh, by you. Uh, but Friday Night Favorite Fight is also brought to you by CardKingdom.com. Uh, go to CardKingdom.com slash LRR when you make your order. Ask for a small button, please. Uh, and while supplies last, you might get a small button that says uh, Pack 3, Time to Pivot, I believe. 
Uh, time for a pack three pivot. Time for a pack three pivot. Well, I got it wrong. And you know what? You can go to store.loadingreadyrun.com. I really thought you were going to say you can go to hell. <laughs> you, well, you can go to hell. Or you can go to store.loadingreadyrun.com uh, where you'll be hot as hell in some of the merchandise that we have. Uh, clothing. Uh, play. You can drape yourself in play mats. Uh, you can get. You can be naked, but with a mug on your groin. I, uh, mm. No, it's cool. Here, watch. I'll show you. Don't like it. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of cool ways to support us. Uh, also, uh, obviously, subscribing here at twitch.tv slash run, or if you're watching on YouTube uh, through memberships and all that jazz. Uh, but thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye!